I hope you guys have been uh, looking at the videos. They're hilarious. Okay. So it's going to be Adrian, Caspian, Isabella, Gail, and then Leonard is going to follow up with bonus. And you guys are all set. I want to send you off to your rooms. But before I do, I want to make sure that I tell you guys, this has been a lot of fun. We're on number 49. I want you to know that you are being recorded and I want you to be kind to each other. And we always start out so well. Everybody's well, we don't have to be kind to you, rounds. right? Well, yeah. But uh, <laughs> on the first couple of rounds, but by the time we get closer to the end, you guys have gotten a little wild. So especially in this main room we're in here. So, you know, careful not to talk over each other. Shouting doesn't help. And uh, let people finish their thoughts. Kevin, and Kevin. Uh, let's let's try to keep the kindness and the civil civilness that we're experiencing at the beginning of the game towards the Most end. Most of us just bullshit. I know we're all friends, we're all getting along here, but by the time we get towards the end of this game or the middle of the game, you guys are a little because I'm watching these videos and you can Because we're drinking beer. We're drinking. Susan, can we swear? <laughs> we're drinking. Yes, you're more welcome. I don't know if, if if it's possible to wait for 25 people to finish their thoughts. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Try to at least allow, because a lot of people, that some of the people in the group are a little quiet. And so they want to say something once in a while. So kind of see that they might want to say something and let them say something. We could That's all raise our hands. So here we go. Off to your rooms. I want you to be good little boys and girls. Now, when you're in your breakout rooms, everybody's, you know, it doesn't matter. It's only like five of you guys in a room, so it's fine. So here you go. Have fun. Room two. Or a mask. Wash your hands. Pet a kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Cat. Janine. Yes, Hamilton, I know you're right there, sweetie. Yes, yes. Susan, did Peggy make it in? She's been in and out so many times. I just texted her right now. She says she's giving up. I said, just reboot your whole computer and try again. Yeah, that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I just couldn't get a connection. Isn't that awful? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's like number 27.
Fantastic. All right. Where's everybody at? I'm closing the rooms on these people. So <laughs> how's everybody doing? Doing good. Karen, are you in your house now or are you still out sitting in your car? <laughs> I am moving from there, from one place to another. <laughs> back. Can, you, can you send me back? That was an accident. We're not, we don't have a name. <laughs> oh. Well, everybody's coming back right now, so maybe that's your name. Yeah, I I did not mean to click on that. Maybe maybe I could go back briefly. Uh, they're all coming back right now. Well, then they'll come up with a name without me. Too late, Janine. Okay. Is that what it's called? The group name? Too late, Janine. No. Too late, Janine. Hey, Lou, are you in Arizona now? I am. Where in Arizona? Tucson. Oh, I okay. oh, that's why that's why I didn't see you. Did, did we get a name? <laughs> yes. I didn't need to click on that. I, I hope you got a name. I put it in the I chat. Think, that's great. Okay, thank you, Deborah. If you have to say legged, but two syllables, not legged. But, but the question is, is it three dogs who are legged or is it three, or is it dogs who are three legged? That's up to you to wonder about. That's, oh, not, that not is me. apparently up that's to like you. The question about this the one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. That's it. A friend of mine is fond of uh, quoting Hi, someone Jamie. who once said, there's a man named James, uh, there's a man with a wooden leg named Jones. What's, What's his other leg name? name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes uh, things are not actually ambiguous. Sometimes they're not. Yeah, my brother-in-law one time said, yeah, I saw a deer playing golf the other day. And I go, what was the deer doing playing golf? <laughs> what was his handicap? Five, five under. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, got you got a birdie. Got a birdie. Susan, I noticed you got the copy of Dr. Brad's book. Yeah, he sent it to, and I didn't ask. He just sent it to me like I'm important. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Oh, here it is. I've got a copy myself. Uh, he didn't sign it. It got. It, it was twenty five dollars in postage. He should have just sent it from. Uh, but his publisher sent it. I don't know. Now I feel really pressured to, to read it and write something about it. <laughs> Maybe that's like, why you got sent it. Yeah, that was I, I'm idea. sure that's why. I'm going to the book launch tonight. Oh, Ooh, there's a book launch. Fun. Yeah. So I ordered I'll take, it through Amazon because you can't order it direct from. Uh, now, whose, whose book is this, please? It's called, it's a, a book by Dr. Brad Mackay, who's a member of the Australian Skeptics. Uh, and a skeptical TV doctor here in Australia. And Maynard interviewed Dr. Brad mm -hmm. oh, about a month ago over three episodes of The Skeptic Zone about, about the book and lots of other stuff. It was very good. So I will see if I can score another interview with Dr. Brad tonight. I, um, I helped by, I reviewed the, the article, the uh, chapter here on quackery. Uh, come on. Do you uh, have quackery in Australia? Only if they have ducks. <laughs> Only if they're clucky. So I will. <laughs> ha! So I will. I will get my autograph copy. Leonard could probably get you some nice photographs of them. Of ducks. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Maybe. you have to go to Australia to see if they, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have a lot of uh, photographs of common ducks of Australia. And Brian, who's that with you? This is Virginia. She's the lady who lets me live with her and had kids and stuff with me. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Virginia. hello, Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Obviously a person of great patience. <laughs> That's true. And perhaps not so much has she heard? Has she been told all about us? And now she's like, oh, Lord, I got to see what's going on. Why is Brian up so late at night talking to these strange, weird people? Yes. Yeah, as opposed to just talking to himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, does no he idea. tell you does okay wait wait does he does he uh put her name on the screen about. brian don't be so rude sorry uh, i think he talks to himself six days a week and he uses this as an excuse i play trivia <laughs> every night honey liquor right. richard is weird <laughs> no, so, that's, so, that's dr brad there he is oh. guy. Yeah. very nice guy hello yeah i've met him at a conference or two yeah lovely guy smart guy you all smart so, guy yeah so um, what was I saying? Okay, well, I was asking. I wanted to ask your wife, Brian. There, okay. Is 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 he um, 
coming home and saying, no, and you got that backwards. It's Virginia and then Brian in the other way, unless you're going to move your seats. <laughs> you can't tell? <laughs> because it says Brian and Virginia and you're not Brian and Virginia on the screen. It's backwards to us. So Virginia, no. does he go and um, like and the next morning, oh, check it out. Here's what they were saying last night. Did you do it? And you know what they did? Did he do that? Or I bet you don't know what the blah, blah, blah of Kansas is. Do you know what this is? Does he bring the trivia home to you the next day? Is what I'm Let her about. talk, Susan. Let her talk. <laughs> I said, I think you guys did better on the Kansas trivia quiz than I did. And I've lived here my whole life. So uh, he doesn't usually bring me because I'm, I'm not an asset on a trivia team. That's not true. Are you kidding? Everybody oh my gosh! Is. We all know I something. don't think you have to be an asset to play. That's, no, you have to be an ass to play. <laughs> I'm not an Everybody asset. I keep playing. Me. No, because I carry this one all the time. He knows nothing unless it's about math or physics. He knows stuff. Give me a break. No, like, is that like a little ass? An asset? <laughs> Where's Miles? We we've, we've been having Miles used to play too. He was really fun. It's, it was nice having him. He did a really good category on on eggs and stuff. That was okay, really that's fun. really sweet of you to say. That was a really good category. That was awful. Um, half the questions <laughs> were wrong. Uh, no, we no, liked he, it. He has to go to bed. He's in school. Yeah. Bedtime. Oh, I cool. pulled my kids out of school whenever something important. They learn something. They learn more <laughs> stuff week. out of school every week. Susan, wow. I don't tell everybody that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're getting a lot of parents and children and stuff here you do realize this is being recorded susan yes yes that's fine that's all right <laughs> i did i pulled my kids out of school all the time caspian how often did she pull you out of school to play trivia i'm gonna ask him right now <laughs> She'll come back. i don't well, remember the thing is, is it's longer than seven years so statute of limitations probably is. <laughs> he's getting set up with the other room so here's the question april says Never. Oh, he's full of it. He just doesn't remember. I remember whenever Sterling, the younger child, uh, Harry Potter was coming out, the movies. And I would tell Sterling he had a dentist appointment on the day that, that it came out, you know, or a doctor appointment. And I'd be like, I'll pick you up at um, at one o'clock or whatever. And he'd, he'd come to the car grudgingly. And I'm like, we're going to go see the Harry Potter movie. <laughs> That's pretty good. I did that several times. So. But did you then she took him to the dentist. By the books. Yeah. yeah, but no, we we'd already memorized the books by that well, time. I mean, like when they first came out, did you take them down to oh, the Oh, we went at midnight. Yeah. Hell yeah. And okay. it, at a certain point we had to buy two books because him and I would fight over them. So we'd be so we buy I have two books of some of them. And Caspian, we went to Washington, DC, we went to Hawaii. I didn't care if school was on or not. I just took you guys with me. It was ah school, 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 school. <laughs> I took my son out of school to go to Disneyland. I can see my daughter, too. my daughter was the president of the Harry Potter fan club at one point. Oh, really? Is that right? Yeah. One of my the, uh, interna the international one. One of my daughter's uh, teachers was uh, Jewish, and we were taking one of our uh, daughters out for a, a tr little trip. And she said, "Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we, you know, when I was a kid, well, my my dad was always telling the teachers that uh, it was some Jewish holiday that we were going." <laughs> <laughs> They didn't people, know. Right? Because there's lots of them and nobody knows what they are. Oh, right? Right. It's a Jewish yeah. holiday. You, you can look them up. <laughs> well, yeah, but the teachers well, don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot easier now. Well, yeah. let's, let's do our cast. Let's what do our category. Our team. Let's, name. let's do the team, team name. Team name. All right. So, name team number one who will only be known as team number one for a few more minutes: Caspian and Jamie, Deborah, Janine, Mono, and Mike. What you got? There are the three-legged dogs. It's already, it's already there in the, uh, in the chat. chat. Except I forgot to capitalize legged and dogs. Uh, you forgot you to put a hyphen. Everybody. You forgot no, to put a hyphen. It's not if hyphen. You put, it's hyphen it's three -legged. Yeah. If you put it in the chat before you left the uh, breakout room, then we didn't get it. I got it. I, I see it. it. I see it's it. In there. Here, I, I typed it and everything. I think I okay. did it right. In. It's not hyphenated, though. You sure not. I think oh, it's because, ambiguous. Because they I, I wasn't ambiguous. there when they made it up, so I have no idea. Okay. But I think it's I'm ambiguous. They wanted like, it to uh, be ambiguous. It's like no, that it's, old the dash goes in the second one. 
So well, it's the three hyphen, legged you, dogs. They're dogs that have lots of legs. When you hyphen people, think of it in your minds. Put a hyphen in. A three legged dog walks into a bar and says, I'm looking <laughs> for the man who shot my paw. Oh. 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 Mike, did oh, you just that's a groaner. No, that's a classic <laughs> joke. Oh, it's God. still a groaner. That's going to give this video when it's up on YouTube millions of hits. Yeah, we're, we're going to go viral. That's it. Okay, Adrian, Brian, and Virginia, Jeff, and Julie, Kelly, and Robin. Who are you now? Nobody Robin here but us me. chickens. Oh, that's cute. The animal theme going here. Put, t- put it in the chat so I know how to, if, if you wanted to have hyphens or not. <laughs> no hyphens. <laughs> but we were almost Johnson and the Johnson and Johnsons. Oh. Ooh. How about Johnson and Johnson's Johnson? We thought about it. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's oh, okay. Now, now Susan cannot mind. Remember, we are, being, <laughs> we are being recorded. Nobody chicken, said chicken, chicken. Back. What is this chicken, chicken, chicken? I'm afraid to watch it's, this. It's what a it's what a presentation on a topic that you don't know about sounds like by replacing every word with the word chicken <laughs> okay. every word you can understand or every word period no every, every word, word period chicken is the only word said throughout the whole presentation it's quite something, good something 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 that's good that's good i gotta remember i've got it sitting here with my list of things that i have to look at when we get all done because that's it, how it is hey is but and us supposed to be in here but us are supposed to be capitalized i don't know what the know. Yeah, zoom um i think zoom did that i did that well oh. so we both put it in separately oh. okay well fine all right just, aaron jane karen and carl who are you guys we are the unexplained wobblers Another with the with the animal references. What? No, that's, that's a that's a you on reference. That's a what? It's physics. a you on reference. I don't know what that is. Physics, physics, it's a physics. The it physics might be new joke. physics. I was thinking maybe wobblers not. like in chickens, roosters, and stuff. Those are gobblers. Well, <laughs> wobbler gobblers. <laughs> Mark and saw we could say wobblers. We just had W's and R's. When you say so Washington. Yeah. They're okay to War, say wash. Warsh. I told my wobbles. teammates Leonard might object to the term wobble. <laughs> um, only internally. <laughs> so Kevin, Alan, Gail, Lou, and Rob, who are you? Hi ho, silver away. Who uh, was that mass team? Who was that? <laughs> team? <laughs> we got a horse. I like how our names are getting longer. <laughs> well, they don't. I just want her to say it all the time. <laughs> was it Hi-O Silver, not Hi Ho Silver? Hi Ho Silver away. I thought it was Hi Ho. No, no, like Hi-Ho. no, it's Hi Ho. Avi, Avi, it doesn't. Hey yo, it's hey. blinded by the light. Shut up, like by the douche, like the foreman of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stuff he's that, what, what, what Carl said. <laughs> Avi, Faith, Romero, James, Leonard, and Saunders, who are you today? With a little bit of starch, you can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't it made one. perfect sense this follow the in context. Longer? It's in the chat, Susan. I, I don't know what that would mean. What could that be? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just go buy you some starch. Best press. I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about, but all right. Well, all we right. could was explain. Faith, was Faith on this team? I agree with you, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Faith was on the team. No, we, we, could, we right. could explain if people really want to. I still to. am. Uh, yeah. That team, I went to go that to bed team has a lot of faith. All right, the three-legged dogs. Nobody here but us chickens. The unexplained wobblers. Hi ho, silver away! Who is that mass team against? With a little bit of starch, you can do anything. There's an exclamation point at the end of that. Okay. Ooh, you guys are strange. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this name here that bugs me. Here we go. All I right. My team's already in last place. <laughs> yeah. And my are Red you? Sox are in first place. That's all. The no, you're not. You're in fourth. 
All right, here we go. So Adrienne is already in place with her little co thing ready. Yeah. And Adrienne, I think we could. Is this the first time you've done a category? Yes, I've done a uh, the last thing. The um, bonus. The bonus, but I've never done a category. So I just dawned on me right now. Yeah, I don't think I've seen. I don't think nope. you have to. Win. I hope. Hopefully, she'll do it correctly. Uh, the spelling time. count. Yes. No. Nope. Yes. <laughs> Only mouth counts with Adrian. Okay. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play another game for spelling counts. I <laughs> and most likely, I will have spelled things wrong in the questions. So I guess I would have to say no. Okay. So go ahead and tell us the category, so we can groan or applaud or whatever we need to do. Okay. And then oh, um, mute everybody. Knock us out. All right. Sounds good. So my category is photography. Grow. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I like that. Oh, no, this is a raw deal. Well, actually, <laughs> oh. I've been fooled before. I'm not going to be confident in this yet. Oh my god! Yeah, I've been fooled before too. I, I thought I'm, I was going to ace. I don't know. I'm on vacation. I don't know I'm if I can tell you the, the fix you in in Three, two, one. Here we go. So, question number one is. In what city was the first photo of a recognizable human believed to have been taken? It was a long exposure of a street scene and the picture shows a man having his shoes shined. So I want the city. Number two, what year plus or minus 10 years was the above photo taken? Number three, what landscape photographer and environmentalist, born February 20th, 1902, was best known for his black and white images of the American West? Question number four, William Mumler, an American jeweler turned spirit photographic medium took a famous photo photograph of a past president's wife where the ghostly form of her late husband could be seen standing behind her with his hands on her shoulders. What is the name of this president? Number five. The first commercially available instant camera, often later referred to as a Polaroid camera, though many companies made them, was the Model 95 land camera and was unveiled in New York City. What year was the camera unveiled, plus or minus five years? Number six, English photographer, Edward James Muggeridge took the first photos showing movement. In his now famous sequence of photographs taken in 1878 using 12 ca cameras along a track, Muggeridge provided the first evidence of what? Number seven. There are 12 cameras of the same brand that are currently sitting on the lunar surface. Only the film uh, was brought back to Earth. What brand of camera are they? Number eight. The first digital camera prototype was made by a Kodak engineer. It was the size of a bread box, weighed eight pounds or 3.6 kilograms, and took 23 seconds to record a black and white picture onto a cassette tape. Uh, how, how many megapixels was the camera? And it's multiple choice. So I have 0 0.001, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, and 1 megapixels are your choices. Number nine, 
the famous photo named lunch atop a skyscraper so <laughs> lunch atop a skyscraper taken in 1932 shows 11 iron workers eating lunch sitting on a girder with their feet dangling high above new york city the photo was taken on the 69th floor of what building some advantage to uh some local people Oops, something weird happened. Give me one second, it didn't copy and paste. There we go. That was weird. Sorry, I apparently caught eight and nine at the same time. So you got eight repeated in there, just in case you missed it. The last question. This famous writer was fooled by a series of five photographs taken by two girls that showed photos of themselves with fairies. The fairies were named the Cottingley Fairies and the writer used these photos as proof that fairies were real and wrote about his findings in two articles for the Strand Magazine. Who is the writer? I love these this category. <laughs> Nobody on my team better know anything because this is my chance to show that I know something. On this is Susan's specialty. <laughs> I, I know. I think pretty much most of them. If not, wow. Uh oh. I'm, Too easy. Could no, that be no. That you were a, a photographer. Uh, yeah. Has nothing to do. With I it, really no. tried to nothing pick ones that she it. wouldn't necessarily no. know. No. They're fun questions. Because, They're really um, good. I think these are well you, written. Yeah, and you can, and if you don't know them, I think if you you know think about them and, and come talk up with others, you might. Right. Yeah, it's good. So ten out of tens, everybody. No, no, no pressure. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> boy, okay, yeah. so now do I send everybody? Um. Yeah, you can send this to the rooms. You have the power. How do I do that? Uh, I see the breakout room it. thing. You should be able to hit open all rooms. At the bottom oh, I see. I can do it. No, I see it. Yeah. And, hey. uh, remember, Kelly, you want to end. Uh, Kelly, Adrian, you want to end up in the last room that you were in. Well, you've got the power. You've got the co-power. So, power, you're, anyway. so I'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to go. Do I do it right. I must have. Everyone's disappearing. Yeah, I got. You go really to know the, all of them, uh, Susan. I go to the room that you were in. Yeah. Room two. Yeah, but what happened to the room names? I had them all on here, and now they're gone. Yeah, it just says room one, two, three, four, doesn't it? That's not right. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. My effing. Oh. 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 All right, Ringer. Oh, welcome, Time Susan. Time to show up. Welcome, Susan. <laughs> Wait a minute, Susan. Before you start giving us all the answers, I want to know if you know the answer to the one that I, I know. And that is uh, the one about muggeridge. More? Yep. Is. 12 cameras. I believe I know the answer to that one. Do you know the yeah, answer? It's, uh, I think I know Abraham the Lincoln. No. English wait. photographer. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, no. The, oh, the movement one. That was the horse uh, galloping, and it yes. showed that the horse's feet were all off of the ground at oh, the same yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Also yes. The only one. I don't, the gates or something like that? The, yes. Because the, they, they thought that the controversy yeah. they weren't was, sure if all of the legs actually were off the ground at any moment. Okay, so number one is Paris, right? They were tough questions back then, tough questions. To and I don't know a year. Um, it would have been 18. I feel like it was it's around. Just... I feel like it was around Darwin times. Because that was 1850s. That Darwin was 1850. Well, the, okay, go to the question. The, 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 are she we having some there. kind of strict photo? Strict definition of photograph as opposed to tintype or daguerreotype or whatever they well, call it. The first photograph was that one we were talking about. The guy was outside of his room. He was looking out the window of his room and you see an alley and then there's a person really dimly and that's what she's talking about, the human. So the what year was that was would have been but, but it says which first photo. Does she mean yeah, it's the same one. has to be because she was referring to the first question. Sweet. No, so... but I'm I'm saying does it have to be a particular technology called a photograph as opposed to a tintype, let's say. Well, what she said was or question one. She said question one, which is definitely a photo. That is a normal photo with a recognizable human. And then when she read the second one, she says, 
and in what year was that picture taken? Right. No, no, no. But I'm, uh, I understand what you're saying, but you're missing, you're missing what I'm saying. So what else is new? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the, like, the technology, I don't know I'm talking like film, was, light sensitive yeah. film that has to be developed in a dark room. Or no, photography somebody... predates film. Okay. Or, yeah. Like it's a, it's specifically like using light to impress an image. Okay. Right. It's an exposure thing. So yeah. It's rather okay. than rather than drawing it rather than artistically Hamilton, you know attempting Hamilton? to recreate it, it is a it is you are using the light from the surroundings in order to create. Do the we image. know what's okay. do we know what city it was? It was Paris. Paris. It was Paris. Okay. I guess Paris. I had no idea what the um answer was, but I guess it was Paris. Yeah, it was That's, Paris. I'm almost positive. Be. Unless it was a small city somewhere in France and I don't remember the name mm -hmm. of the of the city. It could be Jean Salazé something, and I don't know, but I think it's Paris. That's in Paris. <laughs> oh, okay, so I don't know anything about France. Okay, so I'm thinking, and I don't know for sure. She's there's a question later on. She she talked about the 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 horse the galloping 1878. So, right, there were lots of right photographs now. taken during the Civil War. So by 1865, there were many photographs. Yeah. So how 18... how early did it start? 40s. I'm like thinking. 40 like 45. You know, I honestly don't know the answer. I think we should go with like 1840 to be on the safe side of plus or minus 10. Okay. Well, then that means we go back to 1830. Could that be right? I think it's possible. That 1830? That, that that Paris photograph could be that uh, early. Could it be as early as 1829? I don't know why that rings the bell. I don't know. Uh, yeah, don't go with me. I don't know. 1837? <laughs> Is the answer then that we're going with one eight three seven? Eighteen. Well, then that would give us up until eighteen forty seven. I just, I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion this is going to be a lot earlier than we're thinking. I know Especially, I've seen this. I know I've seen the number. I know. I mean, I can even picture what the picture looks like, but and I know I've seen the year, and I don't remember. Um, Darwin was what year? The Beagle was around 1850-ish. Yeah. And they have photography back then? It was like barely existed. I looked it up to see if like photographs would have been commonplace during Darwin's time for a paper I was writing. Yeah. Um, and it was like kind of around the same time-ish that it was being developed. So, so you're the end later. Widespread. What? Oh, so you're thinking later. I, no, I'm not necessarily thinking later. I just like wasn't widespread at the time. Yeah, but I'm just thinking. I, yeah, I, I, I think the 1840 is is a good okay. first guess. And why don't we why don't we go ahead and like 39. Let's, let's answer as many as we no, can, 40, and then we can. Okay. 49. Well, let's just put 1840 30. as a working title here. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So and we that can covers us right it. up to 1850. One landscape. Well, we know who that is. It's Ansel Adams. Yep. Ansel Adams, yeah. Is his no, daughter, yeah. Anna, Anna, Anna Adams, is part of the humanist group in Monterey County. Uh, Deborah knows them. Huh. I've had, I had like snacks with them. They're very nice people. Ansel Adams' wife, uh, daughter. Okay, William Muller, that is definitely Abraham Lincoln. Uh, oh, really? Of course, yeah. That was uh, his wife. Um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Mary Lincoln. Todd Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln, yeah, yeah. It's a very famous photo. I've never seen it. Okay, now this next one, number five. I think that would be the sort of camera that my mother might have had when she was a child in the 1940s, early 1940s. That's a brownie, right? Like a brownie camera, yeah. I don't know. Um, well, you know what? Okay. Um, Probably the 40s. The first you know what? I, I have really? photographs from the 1920s showing my grandmother that look like Polaroids to me. I was thinking like the O2 or something like that. When was the World's Fair? I don't know. Um, oh, I don't know either. Land camera was um, held in New York City. So this is what would be popular. So I'm thinking of my family photos and they were very poor people. And I can remember them having photos from the 1930s. Maybe it was like, but like Polaroid style photos. 
I think what they're trying to make it sound like it was a, it was a cheap and expensive popular camera. I think Some, somewhere they, in this house, I've got a picture of my grandmother wearing short shorts, and she was born in 1908, and so it would have been about she would have been about 20 years old, eight. 18, 19, 28. Zero World's okay. turn. So, 20. wait, this is available instant camera. Wait, what are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, this is a Polaroid. Yeah, yeah okay. You have to you be able to out, instant develop. Yeah. Yeah, make Actually, your own picture. Um, I think there was a 1920 World's Fair, but I don't know. I think 1920 is a good guess. No, 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 this is Polaroids, you guys. Yeah, Polaroids. This is not film. Yeah, yeah. This is, this, is, wrong. this is straight to print the question. with development included. 70? So, right. so you don't... You don't set did the you start taking Polaroid yeah. pictures? No, but it's not the Polaroid brand. It's called the Land Camera. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. But the question what is... Seen, what was before that? It, this is the first commercially available one. Yeah, called the Land Camera. And I, hey, think, so, so, I think it's 1920-ish. No. Really? No. For an instant camera? No, not even. There's no way. Okay. Either either there's no way or the photos were taken on such unstable medium that you just don't see them anymore. No. Like they're they're too overfaded or not, you know, not in good quality anymore. But I can't imagine. I'm thinking the fifties or at least the sixties. Can anybody remember a, a, a Polaroid before 1960? Well, we sure had one when I was a kid. My mom was ripping off Polaroids right and left when I was a little when, kid. When you were the same age as me, so that's 1962. So do you think there's Polaroids of you as a baby? Okay, so maybe 1955? I know my parents didn't have Polaroids. Sounds good. Okay. Brian and Virginia, you yeah. guys are a little young, right? Okay. Yeah, you're a lot young. Okay, so <laughs> what question are we on? Oh, six? six. Okay, we now don't we have the right? galloping horse yeah, yeah. question. Galloping we know horse. we know the answer to that. Okay, to this number seven, I don't remember the name, but it's something like Iselrod. Isel. <sighs> Does that sound familiar oh, to you? I was hoping oh. I'd say the name and you guys would go, oh, well, that has has brought. Hasselbrob. Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck. Hasselblad. Hasselblad. Oh, no, no, oh, that's it. That's it. Hasselblad. Yeah. Hasselblad is a, is a camera brand. Okay, there yeah. you go. That's the answer. Hasselblad. Yeah, that's no. the answer. I didn't know they were leaving them there. That's interesting. They, no, they they just like there was just a camera that, or there was just a there was just recently released a phone with a uh, the first Hasselblad like endorsed camera on a on a phone that you can get that and i just i just recently watched that there's a it's for whatever reason that's not ringing a bell. i remember the mythbusters where they used the same model camera to recreate the moon mm. landing stuff and i that's i mean hasselblads are really really nice cameras it wouldn't they're surprise me they're very expensive, they're very expensive know, and extremely well engineered positive the best like, technology yeah i'm yeah. i'm i'm 70 percent positive 72.3 percent positive so that's there's still some gray area I, there i'd believe it i'd believe it in terms of like it's a very well-known name and i couldn't and remember very, the dang name i just knew it was like a, a zettel or a run <laughs> and i would only i would not have known it if i hadn't started like if you had talked to me two months ago before i had seen these videos oh. about like and they also just recently came out with, uh, like this weird Hasselblad like digital camera that's like the first camera they've done that doesn't have a viewfinder. So like you just look at it on the screen, and it's kind of strange. Anyway, question eight. Question I have eight. no idea. But it, how how would you have a one megapixel? No, it's definitely not one megapixel. What's a megapixel would be a thousand by a thousand pixels size. Uh oh, oh. I, think it's, I think it's whatever is the smallest number. Point zero zero. Did okay, zero so one. the next one is um, Empire State Building, and ten is uh, that's Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, I remember that. And that he posted in this. He was in the Strand Magazine because that's where he used to put the um, 
right. Does everybody Wait, agree I'd with me? Actually, that on I'd actually believe eight? it's A for eight. Like number 10,000 pixels is 100 by 100, which at oh, the you very beginning. Yeah. It's going right in one ear and out the other. See it going I agree with you. It's it just a. hit the wall. Yeah. I don't a. know anything about that. What, Kelly? A. I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought you tried to. I was saying no, A. I, I vote for A. a. The smallest number that she gave. I don't know. If it was one megapixel, I'll be surprised. Because a thousand by a thousand is huge for like a sensor size at that. Yeah, at that. This, is, this is something that was being then stored on a cassette zero tape. Zero. So, point yeah. zero zero. Six, six to ten. Six to ten. Yeah. It, it, the, the fundamentalists usually say six. Um, we actually had a group at Chabot that uh, was watching one of our large format movies and. Ten minutes in, they all got up and left. Yeah, um, we ran when we were hiking. Said Canyon. the universe is um, almost fourteen million years yeah, old. Yeah, we were when we stopped at Indian Garden in the Grand Canyon and I spoke to a couple that was doing a hike through too, and just talking about how awesome and amazing it was to be next to these rock formations that were millions of years old, and they were like, "Well, actually, we're creationists," and I was just like. Well, well, whether okay. you're a creationist or not, the rocks are still like how hundreds freaking of millions amazing of years old. Is that we're down here doing something really like because there's signs on your way down that says, you know, going down is optional, coming back up is mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> and it took us it took us seven hours, I think, to do the hike down the South Kaibab, which is maybe three point five miles, because you're constantly stepping down. Right that many feet and i've never like running a marathon was easier than hiking down the south kaibab are you talking about the grand canyon yes when they said oh actually we're creationists did you answer them with i'm sorry i i was just <laughs> like no and i just said well we can agree that this place is pretty freaking fantastic can't we that we're here why didn't you take the mules like the brady bunch did uh, um because oh, i didn't want to pay 70 dollars to do that okay. yeah you oh they really had it though yeah, you, you can pay to take the mules down to the ranch. Um, they lean. But, but it's most <laughs> of the, it's, if you want a very good solitary humbling experience, it's a great thing to do because once you get past Skeleton Point, which is amply named Skeleton Point, um, all the day hikers go away. And so we, you know, we start, we went like the thing, uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So it's cold, so you can get up and go hike at nine o'clock in the morning and not worry about dehydrating yourself and all, all that. If you go closer to the summer, even right now, you're going to have to be careful when you go down because it's like, to give you a perspective, the bottom of the canyon when we went was maybe 60 degrees. There was a blizzard going up top at the rim. <laughs> so as we were hiking out on our last day, I think the last mile um, like at the one mile rest house, we started to encounter snow and there was a group of kids hiking above us that were singing Bon Jovi, living on a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> they were hiking out and I'm just thinking, all I know is that we have a hotel room at the top of this. I can have a shower for the first time in three days and there's a margarita and a steak somewhere in this for me. <laughs> I just want to be done. <laughs> uh, Kelly, I, Kelly, I would say maybe 20. I'm just kind of ballparking that. She asked me a question. I'm giving her an okay. answer. I don't want her to think I was ignoring her. Okay, Adrienne, great answer. questions. I hope, I hope you don't make me look like a fool because I felt really confident on these. And, <laughs> and then as I was saying it, I was thinking there's been many times where I swear I knew the answer. And Well, it, I, was, I, I love being sort of the ears in the rooms. It was really fun to hear the discussions. And I was glad to hear that there were actually discussions instead of everyone going, oh, that was easy. That was easy. So it was good. No, no, this is an equal amount of, I think it was probably, it's, in my opinion, it was probably right in the mid where we should be aiming for our questions to be at. We still find that. <laughs> so that's okay, an question. average score of three. Is that? Uh, no, I think this is more close to sevens. I think we're going to see a lot of sevens. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we have at least one group with a 10. It sounded like people were, I guess the dates were the hardest part, um, at which they tend to be. They're, they're tricky. Uh, the first one for photography, I don't think anybody didn't get it that I saw. It's Paris, France. Oh, oh somebody oh. changed their mind, talked themselves out of it. <laughs> I, I, I remember the picture. 
It's a very interesting picture. And the reason that he was ended up in it, uh, there were lots of people on the street, but because it was a, a timed exposure, nobody else showed up. They blur out. But right. that person was standing still getting his shoes shined. And so ended up inadvertently in a picture. And what year was it? It was 1838. Yes. Yay. Wait, Yes. No, uh, let me put these in the. Uh, I, I said I was saying, oh, 1839 sort of sounds right. You put that's in really 1840, close. so we we were close. Could you? Yeah, that's really close. So to... remember, it's plus or minus ten. So could you repeat the answer to question one, please? Paris. Thank you. Paris. Paris, yes. And the famous landscape photographer Ansel Adams. Yes. And and I was telling everybody that um, Deborah knows. Ansel Adams' daughter was. She's on the Humanist. Uh, nice in uh, Monterey County. So when you guys come out to Monterey yeah. County, you can, you can go to Shane. Go to Shane. And so number four, William Mumler, who actually was taken uh, charged with fraud for his photography work, never convicted, but he was charged. It is Abraham it. Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay! And you know, it's a very famous photo. Go to my Spirit Photography page, and you'll get to see it. It's a. It's an interesting photo and the first commercially available instant camera was in 1948 oh what did we put guys 55 oh lots of people were putting 60 you didn't see that episode of mash okay so the next one i think everybody this is so famous but i just had to put it in because it was it's so fun the what was the evidence for movement? It was the galloping horse. It provided the first evidence that all four legs were off the ground. Mm -hmm. And they really didn't know that until that photo, those photos were taken. And he was using the name Mybridge at that point because he had yes, left he his was. wife and he, dog. And his, it was like child. some unpronounceable Edouard or yes. something for his first name. So I yeah. took his birth name, but he you had, are correct. He had left his wife and child in New York City and abandoned them and moved west. Wow. So the, the next one uh, was interesting discussions sure. that were being had. And I was actually very impressed with how everybody knew the names of these cameras. Lots of people said Leica, but that is not correct. It is Hasselblad. Hasselblad. Oh, I see wow. the, the, other, the other rich person camera. The other rich person camera, exactly. You were on the There's right no way track, I would have been able to spell that correctly, so good thing. David Hasselhoff. Yes. <laughs> and those cameras are still made to this day. Uh, but as, as Carl said, they're a rich person's camera. What do they start? Yeah, not, not quite that model. They're, no. they're ridiculously expensive. They that's make funny. I've never, heard, I've, like never heard, I've never heard that brand name except in the context of the moon camera. So I guess yeah. oh, it, they're often used by people in uh, like, if you want to blow up. A, yeah, if you want to make a big, huge photo that goes up on a billboard. You need the the quality of a Hasselblad because it's a bigger frame. Like medium the format. Are big. Yeah, they were the yeah. medium format cameras before. Correct. Uh, so the next one, the digital. Um, oh, the megapixel. Sorry, it was B, right. which is point zero one. Yay! And you could you could kind of figure it out because one megapixel would probably be too much, etc. But uh, I thought that was a really interesting little piece of trivia. And it, for number nine, I'm, I'd like to see um, what people said for this, because my husband and my kids both said the wrong building, even though we've been to New York and actually seen this picture. It is actually either you could call it the RCA building or Rockefeller oh. Center. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, damn, I was too confident. Darn it. I've been there. I didn't did know you it. Mm. Did you think it was the Empire State Building? Yeah. And, and I, I think the reason is, is if you go into the Empire State Building, guess what? There's a huge picture of that up in their museum part. So I think it's uh, it lends itself to being a little bit of a tricky question. I can't does even that, use that. Does that picture that. show the Empire State Building? What was that? Does the picture show the Empire State no. Building? No, it does not. It just seems to point out to where, you know, the houses are like there's flat buildings or low buildings or not very high buildings that you can see. And the last one, the person who was 
writing about people being critical thinkers, however, was not much of a critical thinker himself, was Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Yep. What was the plus or minus on number five? Uh, the plus or minus on number five was five years. Okay. So it was 1948 plus or minus five years. The other one was plus or minus 10 because, you know, older, farther away. Those are did really we get good. That? Did we get and that, I'm Kevin? impressed. No, we got one of them. We, got, we did not get the 1948 one. I'm, I'm really Terrific category, really Adrian. Card. Terrific category. Thank very, you. very good. I agree with Aaron. Okay, I so. I didn't good. know Ansel Adams' middle name. Ah. Easton. Now yes. I do. I'll forget, but. Easton. <laughs> <laughs> is there, I missed it. What is it? It's Easton. So it's Ansel Easton Adams. Try and say that five times fast. No. Oh. No, thanks. <laughs> All right. So the three-legged dogs. How did you do? How did you do? Six. Nobody here but his chickens, which is my group this time. Seven. Seven. That's what I called her, right? The unexplained wobblers. Feeling good about eight. All right. That, is, that would be confident. Hi ho, silver. Away. Who was that mass team? Seven. And with a little bit of starch, you can do anything. Nine. <gasps> Nine. Ooh. So I think we averaged Whoa. seven. That's a very good category if you can. They had some stuff. Which one did you get wrong? Number five. Five. The, um, Which is what? The year, the, the year of the first Pol Polaroid. Uh, in camera. That was really hard. I, Very good. Years are hard. Just telling everybody who wants to write questions in the future, years are hard. <laughs> Very hard. Especially the last year. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, God. That was... That was... <laughs> Great job. Okay, so six, seven, eight, seven, nine. Okay, we average about seven. So next up, we have our newly joined um, to the vaccine community. He's partially vaccinated, got vaccine today. It's first Pfizer. So Caspian's up. Where's Jamie? I don't see her. She went downstairs. She should be logging in right now. Okay. It's always funny because whenever you guys are on, a, you're together, you're a couple, but. The other person doesn't know the questions. That's so funny. This is true, though I did let on that this is a historical topic. Let's well, I better see. start. I hope you're studying all of history. Plus or minus 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> wait for, I'll wait for her for a second. Okay. Yes. Can I help you? I heard yes. that. I heard that. I have two cats. She's looking at me like, what? Brian, did Virginia stick around or did she leave? Here's Jamie. She's, she's, uh, we don't know at this point whether Virginia's coming back or not. Virginia! Don't, don't leave us. Virginia! You sound like what me year? all the time. <laughs> what yes, year Virginia, was the... There is a trivia night. What year was the Big Bang? With, with well, <laughs> for minus 10 billion within years. 10 year, wait, within 10, 10 years. It was a Tuesday. Within 10 blanks. Alan, you can't do minus. It's only plus. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, let me turn off yeah. my tire real quick. But that was, a, that was a Wednesday in Australia because we're here. Wouldn't it be zero a year? I don't think they had uh -oh. zero yet. Depends yeah, on how you Absolute have. zero. Absolute zero. There you go. Uh -huh. Or not. Uh, Out of acting strange. <laughs> so that was a who just joined? Jamie. Jamie. No, I just yeah. joined her. James. James, James, James keeps well, coming in and oh, out. Oh, coming in and coming out. Back. Wow. All right. Well, all righty then. Let's see how much you all know about the English Civil Wars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's I could do something with the dryer. It's <laughs> very cavalier of you. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> bad, bad. Can um, you not much. Us, Adrian or Kelly? Yep. Well, you hopefully, by the end of this, you'll know more. I'm not going to be very civil about this. Uh, uh, two, one. All right. Question one How many years? and this is between five and 20, elapsed without parliaments under King Charles I of England. Question two. Do we have a plus or minus on that? 
plus it's or between minus 5 100? and 20. And no plus or minus. Question two. After years of personal rule, Charles was forced to call a parliament because he needed money to pay an army. Who was Charles fighting? Question three. What was the cause of the fighting between Charles and his opponents? In question two. Question four. After calling a parliament, Charles was angered that it sought to reform his government. He accused several members of treason and attempted to arrest them personally. How many members of parliament were on his list to arrest? Question five. After fleeing London, Charles summoned a parliament of his supporters to what learned city? Question six. What office did Matthew Hopkins claim to hold between 1644 and 1647? It was the one down the hall. Question seven. At the decisive Battle of Naseby, who commanded the parliamentarian army? Question eight. Charles was captured by parliament soon after Naseby. While in custody, he negotiated with the Scots for allies. What did he promise the Scots? Question nine, after Charles' secret negotiations with the Scots were revealed, a coup by the army purged parliament of supporters of the king. What was the name of the man who commanded the purge? And question 10, what was the title Cromwell bore during his rule of England? Susan, your son is evil. I'm going to eat all the pie while I'm down here. <laughs> it's, a shame that, it's a shame that Paula and Peggy aren't here. That pie was amazing. And I. No! Peggy would probably do well on this one. She's not here. Peggy! Peggy! All right. <laughs> For me, this is on par with Punch and Judy and Lighthouse. Okay. Ooh, Caspian! Yeah, this is Punch and Judy category. No, no. We'll Punch see. and Judy forever! Oh, trust me, I could get much worse. I have <laughs> oh, ideas that are much more easy. That's not getting, the goal Getting the worse game. is easy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go to our room. Oh, Caspian, I gotta give you power. But I already have power. Oh, that's true. But now you have a little bit more. I is guarantee number five I about with Trump. a Trump Caspian category. Is is number four or five about Trump? Four about Trump. <laughs> They're all about Trump. You're all. It's all about Trump. Okay. Go to all your right. rooms. Go. I'm going to go to your. Hey, just remember, I'm going to your room, Caspian. So if you tank, it's because. It's because you were insufficiently educated about the English Civil War. <laughs> And I have failed in my duty. Okay, James. <laughs> okay, Jamie's going to room one. James, you're going to go to which one are you in? Where are you, James? James is in five. Climb. I'm in the wrong room, Susan. I have to go and uh, how do I get back into my other room? I obviously got power. Just leave. 
Just leave. You've got oh, the power oh, to go. Okay, never mind. I will go. Okay. I was going to say, I you know my answer. You, answer, but I'm answer. But my brain stopped, you know, stopped working after doing the category. Oh, right? oh, like, oh. Come on. So I know the answer. I'm pretty sure to number five. We have to apologize to Mike for talking him out of Chicago, uh, Paris, France. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Really sorry. Uh, <laughs> it just doesn't feel French. What did you guys end up picking? Chicago. Chicago. We switched. <laughs> Mano and I went like bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's okay. We teamed up to be bad, Mano. Neither one of us yeah. alone could have done it. <laughs> okay. So it now both <laughs> how many years between five and 20 elapsed without parliaments between i thought it was 13 or 16 i know nothing here so me neither hey, i'm out hey janine oh, you get a pass well, with all the popular no, culture tv stuff so, so no you should have been paying attention to this no you, you act oh, like I, I, had, I, gotta let, I, you act like I had uh, western soup or something so I got to let did, Adrian back in. Hold on a second. I'll bring it back. But I think I you're number five is Oxford. Oxford. I wrote down Oxford. Oxford. Or Paris. <laughs> no, no. It's Oxford <laughs> through that one. Meeting. Well, I know some of them. I mean, I came back for, I came back for Adrian. You're muted, Susan. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Instead of hitting leave room, I hit leave Zoom. Just, just done oh, thank you are you normally in two right yes that's correct okay so I thank you good. guys okay bye they were fighting the french oh it's a civil war so yeah it's not uh, who is okay well, i also don't have the questions could be the, the sky oh, the questions. i can read it out Number no it's okay we'll, we'll figure it out somebody will I leave off it. Uh, After years of personal rule, Charles was forced to call a parliament because he needed money to pay an army. Who yeah. was Charles fighting? Uh, he was either fighting uh, France or he was fighting. There was one. I think he was kind of working with the uh, the people in the Netherlands. William of Orange enters into this, but I think later. So he. But it's a civil war. Yeah. There's civil, the civil war. war. Yeah. So it's got to be on their own uh, on the island somewhere. Oh, he was. Wasn't he fighting against? Parliament? No, wait, to call a parliament because he needed money to pay an army. He so was fighting the like, Scots or the Irish. Irish. The Irish. Irish. The Irish. Or the Welsh. I think it's Irish. No, not I the think... Welsh. There's not, not enough of them, right? I, but, no, no. They were already, no. But it's not an English civil war. Wouldn't English civil war be require wars within the country of England, not Wales or France or Scotland or Ireland? After years of personal rule, well, that's the point there. Because he needed money to pay an army. I mean, they were but always it, fighting with each other. But. I think it was Ireland, but I'm not 100% sure. So but would that, that qualify as an Carlson. English civil war? So what was the cause of the fighting? Was it because of Protestantism and Catholicism? Way back then, no. Or was this a right to rule yes, issue? Of course it was. Henry VIII is the one that had this split with the church, and Charles was way after Henry VIII. Charles was in the 1700s. Well, he. Oh, that's another Henry. question has something in that happened in the 1600s. They're calling a parliament. Well, it's probably right to rule, religion, or taxes. After calling a parliament, did we not decide on anything for two yet? You know, number four is really no. odd the way he worded it. Like, how would you know how many people? Because it was probably known. He had a list, apparently. Yeah. I have no idea. Number five, I'm pretty sure, is Oxford. I feel like it's Oxford as well. Matthew Hopkins. I have never heard of Matthew Hopkins. Did we just skip over the ones before that then? We don't know. Okay, you guys knew the answer three or four. You're right about these years, 1644 okay. and 1647. So who could have been? Charles's son was the 1700s. Son and son after yeah. that, the 1700s. So yeah. Yeah. 
Charles II, I guess. Uh, what office did Matthew Hopkins claim to hold? What could he have held? Oh, no. President of the Navy. <laughs> I don't know. Office. Battle of Nasal, but who commanded the Parliamentarian Army? I think that was Cromwell, not Cromwell, uh, Churchill, the first. Charges capital by Parliament soon after. I am sorry, I have no idea. Uh, Don't be sorry. Uh, Charles was captured by Parliament soon after Nasal, while in custody. I think he promised the Scots that they could have independent rule. I think so too. Oh, golf yeah. course. And um, golf course, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> After Charles' secret negotiations with the Scots, I was thinking something. I mean, like independence, or a, they're guaranteed their border. Because isn't there like some kind of border between? Okay, uh, Caspian is here. I have a question. When you say English civil wars, I assume it's within the borders of what we know call England, not Scotland, I Wales, and Ireland. Yeah, that's no, they were included. Well, I mean, that that assumption. An anachronism, and most historians these days call it the War of the Three Kingdoms, but English civil wars is what they're commonly called. So, Wales. Um, Ireland and Scotland and England were all considered. How do we send a broadcast message to everybody? Go tell them personally. I think it makes more sense. Okay. Uh, first secret location. A coup by the army purged parliament of supporters. I think that's going to be what's the name of the man who purged. I wonder if it's Churchill or it could have been William of Orange. What what question nine, are you talking about? Number nine. Ten during this war of England. He was the wasn't it something to do with protector? That could be. Was chancellor? it Lord? What? Was it Chancellor or Some, I, I have this vague memory of something to do with protector. Protector. protector of England, protector of for, for Hopkins, you mean? No, no, number ten. ten. Oh, ten. oh. You, you just say protector. That would be enough. But I mean, that just came to my mind. I, I don't. I, as I said, I know. I try to avoid English royal history trivia. But you know what, <laughs> Mono? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is in your mind is better than what's in my mind. So if, if it just popped into your head, no. I'm, I, I have much more confidence okay. in that than mine. So no. Do we have anything? <laughs> um, for number 10, wouldn't it be Lord Protector? Yeah, I think he was Lord something. Protector yeah. makes sense because he was only in it. And they were all were Lord something, I guess. Yeah, because Protector, he was supposed to be there because he was protecting... I, I agree. Okay, so what do we have for one? Yeah. I thought it was 13. I think I wrote down 13 because you said it was might be 13. That or 16. But I, I'm leaning towards 13. It was an odd number, like 11, 13, or 16. But I think 13. But I don't know. I like 13. So what are we going to say number. for two? Are we going to say Scotland, Ireland? What are, who are we saying? I feel like it's Wales or Ireland. It's Ireland, I think, and it's not Wales, but I'm not 100% sure, but Wales was not really, it was much earlier where they were fighting the, the Welsh and Ireland was just a mess. And it would make sense <clears throat> why they were fighting <coughs> Catholicism versus Protestantism. Not why that I'm sure of that either. Why not Scotland? Well, I mean, Ireland would be tough, right? With the ocean or the sea between them. Um, they would be always fighting with the Scots too. 
yeah, they were. Here's a person who was forced to call a private. You want to make it Scotland? <laughs> I don't want to like. No, but then it would make. Talk. Well, let me think. <laughs> Charles was Catholic. Charles was Catholic. That Charles was Catholic. Yes. Yes, he was Catholic, but okay. it was a big deal. Everybody's really pissed off because his his we married a Catholic woman, right? And the country was Protestant, right? So they were really upset. So when he had a child, they wanted it raised Protestant. And he wanted to keep priests around and all that. So Scotland would have been a Protestant country. So I don't think he would have fought against him because oh, it doesn't make any sense, does it? The English wouldn't have gone to war with a Protestant country. They would have gone to war with a Catholic country. All right. God, I'm getting this all mixed up. I know all this, <laughs> but it's mixed up. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm getting my, they're all freaking named Charles. Right. Oh, it's by the Romans. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> they named, you know, and, they're, and, they're, and their kids are Mary. And there's so many Marys, James and Charles and, and stuff that it's just, in my mind, it's like, oh. He's checking like, time on, on groups, so. Okay. So do we want to go with Ireland or Scotland or Wales? What do we want to do? Pick one. I don't think it's Wales. Okay, I'm writing, writing down Ireland. Okay, so am I. The okay. the cause, if it's if it's Ireland, it's either religion, independence, taxes, or rulership. I think it's I think it's religion, but I don't know. I'm just a guest in your room. Ah, okay, religion's fine. Okay, what do we have for four? No, um, I didn't make a guess. Form his. Attempted to arrest him. How many members? Who knows? I don't know. 30? 20? <laughs> <laughs> how many? I don't even know how many people they have in Parliament. I think it's kind of a lot. Six? Now it's 650. But Yeah, then, oh, it wasn't no. that many then. But Okay, number five, do we have Oxford, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Number six, what office did this guy, Matthew Hopkins, nobody's named Matthew Hopkins back in that time. Yeah, there were people with really normal sounding names back then. No. They never got made fame. So well, I don't know who this guy why. is. See? <laughs> Hopkins, Hopkins, Matthew Hopkins. What could he have Well, been? it's an office, so I'm presuming it's not a military title. Right. So right. It's administrative, he, some he, kind he, of administrative. And he thing. claimed to hold it. Maybe right. he was the executioner. Three years? Only three years. Then he got executed. Are you guys Probably. Gonna... <laughs> we're, we're going through the questions again to make sure. Okay. We, I'm going to call argue. everybody back then. If I can. Well, if you can't come up with it, should we just put prime minister? No, he wasn't prime minister. Was he? No, this says he claims to hold. Okay, that's good. Okay. Seven. Who commanded the parliamentary? What do we say for seven? Do we say William uh, Churchill, the first? We didn't come to a consensus. Yeah, I should say Churchill. It doesn't matter. He was captured by Parliament while in custody. Negotiated with the Scots for allies. What did he promise the Scots? What are we saying? I still think that's independence. I think so. So not the golf. He didn't promise them a golf course. Okay. No, I don't think it was a Trump golf course either. <laughs> <laughs> After secret negotiations, the Scots purge Parliament as supporter of the king. What was the name of the man who commanded the purge? I guess it's probably not Churchill again. Maybe it might be William of Orange. Maybe it was Hopkins. <laughs> I put down 21 for four. Anybody have any other numbers you want to put in there? I was thinking six, but I don't have any reason to believe that's true. It would be more than six. I'm good with 21. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we would even know that number. That's a silly Nine, question. we just don't have an answer because we don't know a name. And 10, we've got... Official photographer. Who was the official photographer during the, uh, during the uh, Civil War? Yeah. The oh, Civil I have War? his book over yeah, here. Oh. Adam's grandfather. No, no, I have the book. Mark Twain's cousin. George Orwell. George Orwell. <laughs> we were just discussing how embarrassing it would be to have to read our answers to the group. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. That's no. good for recording. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to predict Just three. so you know, you can study up on this. The next time I do a category, because I didn't realize that this was the goal of this. I'm going to look up the wiring schematic of the Apollo command modules and ask you guys questions about the circuitry. <laughs> With no, no multiple choice. 
I wouldn't no blame you a bit. Choice. I wouldn't blame you a bit, Rob. I wouldn't blame I'm you. I'm just giving us foreknowledge of that, Rob. We'll all go look it up. Oh, we'll damn to... it. Oh, oh, this is a category? I'll change it to the lunar module. Probably's uh, tough. Yeah, I will look up the color, transport code, rules. the color code for capacitors. Well, yeah, I'm looking it up now. Do you mean, do you mean How many pieces of spaghetti are in a standard serving? <laughs> yes. Leonard? Plus or minus one. <laughs> <laughs> is Jacob uh, keeps going think... in now? Do you hear now, James? Leonard, I, I think I am. Okay, I probably think. keep your video yeah, off. You, you mean resistors? Help. Yeah, I think I did. I'm okay, getting Caspian, old. give us the bad news. Give us the bad news. Rob, Rob, can you see your your chat? No, no. Okay, I have to. Well, I have to pull it up. It's not. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> we have an answer for everything. Yeah, we have oh, ten yeah, answers. Really kind of, we're, not, we're not. We're not photography sure. We're not as sure as we were with the photos. So Rob, I'm really more, angry that you were to play this okay. game with these categories. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So, question one: How many years elapsed between parliaments under King Charles the First? Twelve. Oh, we're off oh. by one. Oh, oh, is, it oh. is it plus or minus ten? Minus one? Minus one? No, no plus or minus. Uh, oh, we said a... eleven. I said tw thirteen. Well, we said thirteen. Range. Blind <laughs> damn luck. We got. <laughs> Wait, somebody got it right. Somebody got it right. Yeah, yeah we got it right. Yeah, Blind got it. damn luck. Start your shit, bitches. Start it. Now you got the lead. <laughs> five High or school. twenty? Because then it'd be between five and twenty. Yes, I probably should have clarified between five and twenty, inclusive or exclusive. But ultimately, it probably yeah, doesn't. Yeah, that would have helped. That would have helped loads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would have really. Been, that would have totally I made. Would, I would have gotten twelve for sure that time. I didn't even think of it. Uh, question two: After years of personal rule, Charles was forced to call a parliament because he needed money to pay an army. He was fighting the Scots. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, that's what I said. That's what I said. You guys changed the nobles. We went to Ireland. <laughs> it's always France. Why was he fighting the Scots? He was mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He was attempting to unify religious practices between the churches of England and Scotland. So if you Ooh. chose anything related to religion... Unless yeah. you were so specific as to specify Catholicism, then we you did, were didn't good. we, team? Just oh, a good answer for oh, any time someone asks, why do people go to war? Yeah, religion. Mm -hmm. It's either religion or anger. Yeah. Or <laughs> religion or mind. He was trying to institute a new book of common prayer between both countries. And the Scots, who were Presbyterian, were upset at this Episcopalian Anglican coming in and screwing. They wanted them. to keep their book of uncommon prayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Question oh, four. God. Charles was angered that this parliament sought to reform his government. He marched in with troops and had five members of parliament he wanted to arrest. Oops. I said six. If I you've you ever did. watched the state opening of parliament to this day, most of the traditions related to the state opening of parliament date back to this event. And who doesn't watch parliament? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, you might have seen it once. I, I DVD it with the <laughs> slamming the door in the face of the Queen's representative, and then he banged on the door a couple of times. I, I haven't been to watch it yet. Cool on Netflix. Yeah, it's it's we're not the HBO that. Max. Britbox, though. Jamie says Britbox. Okay, I don't have that. After fleeing London, Charles summoned a parliament to the supporters of what learned city? This is Oxford. Yay, that's wow. what I knew for sure. Yay. I remember that. We switched we it at the last second to too. Cambridge. <laughs> they were we all a point. Sorry, sorry, Len. I figured everybody was going to pick either Oxford Lou, or Cambridge. Lou said it, all right? Lou said it. We had them both, right and we picked the wrong one. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Question six. What office did Matthew Hopkins claim to hold between 1644 and 1647? He was the Witchfinder General. Oh, oh. for fuck's sake. How, How, could we we How could we have missed that? How and I we... am, in fact, wearing a Witchfinder General oh. t-shirt today. Oh. Not How could we have Colonel? missed that? I'm sorry. Jamie, you were on my team. You should have known that. I don't know that. Well, didn't you ask him what he's wearing that shirt for? No. 
<laughs> You're shirt. in trouble now. This is only clean shirt. Why wouldn't he wear that? You should have put, put which, which find a general for every answer. <laughs> there was a film in the late 60s, early 70s, starring Vincent Price that was considered notoriously violent for its time. Um, but I've Which seen it. It's not PG a particularly 13. good film. What's so, it called? I believe it has some cult status. It is called Witchfinder General with Vincent Price. And Vincent exactly. Price is actually quite good in it. Is that why you're wearing? I mean, is that shirt you're wearing yeah. like something you bought? That's Vincent because, Price. Yes, but isn't that also a band? Oh, is that Matthew? Is that, that Matthew is. Hopkins right there? No, no, that's Vincent Price as Matthew Hopkins. Oh, okay. So sorry. We don't have a photograph of Matthew Hopkins. I would have no. gotten so confused. I, I wanted to say Vincent Price, and that's other than that, I'm so confused. It's I actually Vincent changed Hopkins. this at the last second from a much more difficult question. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank it's goodness. It's Vincent Hopkins. <laughs> that and made Matthew all Price. the difference. If you had said, and he was played by Vincent Price, I still wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> Yeah, I might have got that. Question seven. At the decisive Battle of Naseby, the parliamentarian army was commanded by Sir Thomas Fairfax. Who later uh, founded a city in Virginia. It is named after him. By the way, we, we all got that right. He was also <laughs> one of the people who refused to sign the death warrant of King Charles. Was his name later changed to Churchill? Probably. It was not <laughs> changed to Churchill. You're thinking of John Churchill, the first Duke of Marlborough, and you're about 60 years too early. I'm always, I'm always early. <laughs> Damn. That's what she said. Question eight. <laughs> Green. Charles was captured Better by Parliament like soon after the Battle of Naseby. While in custody, he negotiated with the Scots to form an alliance. He promised the Scots reform of the Church of England on Presbyterian lines. Oh. Oh, of course he did. So religious reform or something of that nature. He did not promise them independence because Scotland was an independent country with its own government. No, he simply happened to be king of it as well. No, it was already, un un there was already a union of parliament. No, the Act of Union was 1707. Under Queen Anne. I thought it was 1607, sorry. Nope. Okay. They didn't Why promise them Scotch. <laughs> promise them what? Scotch. Scotch. No. That's racist. <laughs> racist? <laughs> Ironically, no, he not. promised them some Irish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good choice. Question nine. The army purged parliament of supporters of the king or those who simply weren't on their side. This purge was commanded by a man named Thomas Pride, famous Pride's Purge. Famous to whom? Of course, the of famous course. Pride's Why Purge. Why didn't I think of that? I said was, he commanded by, was he commanded by Oliver Cromwell? He was <laughs> not commanded by Oliver Cromwell. In fact, the leader of this was probably some combination of Fairfax and Henry Ireton, who was Cromwell's son-in-law. So Caspian, was William of Orange involved, involved in any of this? Because I thought... No, he was no. not. In fact, he was not alive at this time. Who? So William I'm early born. again, huh? You're like... Well, why do these people name their kids all Charles? My God, just get so confused. Because they have Charles no imagination. James, James and Charles. Name your kid Aloysius or something. Caspian. Oh. And finally, number 10... Cromwell bore the title of Lord Protector during yes! his rule of England. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> All right, Jamie. You will notice none of the answers to this, to any of these questions, are Oliver Cromwell. <laughs> that is intentional because the impetus for this question, this category, the idea was that we had a category a few weeks ago where one of the answers was Cromwell, and despite Wikipedia, that is wrong. It was not Cromwell. I believe it was who banned Christmas in England. No, Christmas. So I, I have one question. Um, Lou, how much did you pay Caspian to make you look good? How much what? Oh, Lou got How me. much did you pay Caspian to make you look good? So we stop picking on you. I guess between Caspian oh. and me. <laughs> and I, Just to be fair, we got more of these, right? Secret negotiations. Really? Wow. 
Oh my gosh. I predict oh, no tens. Oh, I agree. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask I was three. aiming for an average of seven. It appears I aimed <laughs> <two more. laughs> <laughs> one with five. But that was an average of seven that, total. total. That is a serious <laughs> miscalculation. Did anyone I think five? you maybe have self-awareness issues. <laughs> Caspian, Caspian, thank you for thinking so highly of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a question five. of thinking highly. It's just a question of obscure knowledge that we just don't happen to have. That's it. Okay. Well, I just didn't think it was obscure. Of these <laughs> no, obscure, obscure, obscure. Okay. The three-legged dogs. How many points did you get under five? <laughs> wow. So three, three under three. five. So that means two? How many did you get? Three. Three? Wow. Yes. That's the high score. That was my team. I thought I knew some highest score so far. All right. Woohoo. Let's stop there. We'll stop counting. <laughs> Nobody here but his chickens. Two. Well, three. We got three. Three. Oh, yeah. yep. No. Three. We got Oxford. Right. We got the Scots. Yep. And we got the religion one. Yeah. Religion. Three. All right. Hi Ho Silver away. Who is that mass team? We got nine. Minus eight. <laughs> 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 We got one. You're number Remember, one. You guys, you don't want to be the on the first game. You don't want to be the one. You got the last one right. The first was, game, you don't want to be the, the people who have the best score because that means if somebody joins the team late, you know, somebody comes in. And Rob's in, leaving our team, team, so we need people back. Here comes Isabella. Guess yeah. who's not getting Isabella? Thank you, Isabella. Well, we would have doubled, we would have doubled our score. Went first. Uh, if we would have doubled our score if you guys had let me. Have the one about uh, Cambridge. Cambridge. Oh, yeah. Oxford. Oxford. All right. Oxford. So the Oxford. unexplained wobblers. Two. Woo <laughs> and with a little bit of starch, you can do anything. Three. three. Whoa. <laughs> well, we have an average of three. <laughs> we have, no, we don't. We have, we have an average like a mode of three. <laughs> average like two. Two. -ish. Yeah. It's a mode of three. <laughs> it's a high score of three. Here we Caspian, go. Caspian, you were thinking of I, how many we got wrong, not right. I think this is a record. This must seven. be a record. No. And we got number one right, by the way. Oh, good. Oh, look, on, on RogerDeber.com, there was only one point among all teams. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awful. Do you guys see it? Okay. I'm sharing it. Isabella, Bella, Bella is going. To, oh, she's going to Chico, Chico, Chico. <laughs> she's going That's away. not our team name. Yes, I am. She's going to stay in the same time zone. I'm happy about Yeah, that. I'm going to stay in the same time zone. <laughs> I'm going to try to be here. Oh, as come much on. As I think that seven that, that Caspian was aiming for was for the entire group. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> I think King Charles has moved into the category with Punch and Judy Lighthouse oh. points, you guys. and Roger Ebert. What was the category on? Oh, you would have been great at English it. Civil War. Oh, God. War. Yeah. <laughs> Lowest average, probably, of any in the 50 weeks. All no, right, Isabella, you are going to be. Oh, we on... have a low. How is it not close? What was the lowest? Thank you, Cassie. One I point a lot. between every, uh, all the teams uh, on the Roger. I liked the category. The I just didn't know anything about it. Too many people talking. I don't know what they were. There was a category about Roger uh, about RogerEbert.com and movies and the oh, but that was score. a bonus. That was a bonus. So that's kind of a separate category. Doesn't matter. It still was a category. All right. Yeah, but it's, so not, like you, it's, not, it's not like no one knew any of the ten questions. It was you know for things. I, I, that's kind of a different. Karen just wants some pie whenever he whenever things calm down because Caspian makes the most amazing <laughs> pie. Caspian you brought, me, you brought me a pie. Oh my god. Did she not get any of the pie? No. Caspian, oh, I would learned I have a pie? lot also, and I won't remember any of it. Caspian, can I have can you send me pie in Canada? <laughs> I'll email it to you all. Just make sure to check your CD trays in about 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. But I don't have a CD drive. French you don't get any pie. pie. Go look in your no! chimney. Look in the chimney. Look in your thumb drive, suck in your thumb and pull out a plum. Isabella, you're going to be on the um, unexplained wobblers. 
Hey, we need him. We need her because we. No, I'm about to. I'm about to leave Susan. Right. Yeah, we're leaving. Oh, she has to be on it because she's got to be on the team that doesn't have somebody else. Oh. All the right. people are invited. She's. I. I long ago said she would be three. So that's the way it is. So just deal with it. Ooh, I like Rob, the power I have. For us. All right. So Isabella's up next. I'm. I'm trying to look for my category. I'm sorry. Can, I don't know you where make it up is. Anything at this point? <laughs> no, I, I don't know where it is. No, I wrote it. I'm trying to find it in my Google files. <laughs> well, if we have it's to, a we hot can go to second, and then I'll be there. I have mine ready. Would you like me to do mine first? I, I have one too. <laughs> Isabella, do you want to have Gail go before you? Yeah, just do that, and then. Okay, yeah. Oh wait, I'm, no, I'm ready. It? What is this? Wait, did you that isn't it. Never mind. That was something else. Okay, okay. Gail, you yeah, can go, go before me because I don't know where it is. Let me give you. Sorry. Let me give you your um, co-host, and I'm going to take this away from Caspian for obvious. Oh, here it is. I see it right here. It doesn't okay, matter. We're going to go next. I've already got Gail. Okay. okay. Jamie, you coming back? She's right here. Okay. There she is. There she is. It's up on okay. her. So are we ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, the category. And it, I, we did not discuss this, so that a, a little bit of history. Oh no, not the Civil War is in Britain. <laughs> well, it's not all quite that history, and it's not Britain. Okay. I called it originally USA presidents, but then realizing we're not all Americans here, it's now USA presidents and a couple of other heads of state. So there are a couple of questions that aren't American presidents. Okay, good job. Who's gonna mute us? I got it. Three, two, one. Gail, you're muted now. Gail, Gail you're muted. No, I know. I had to get the questions out of the way. And now they're blocking everything. Okay, here we go. Um, number one, what two retired presidents who had been political adversaries, died within two hours of each other on the 4th of July. Can I put all of the questions at the end? Do you need them in the chat now? Yeah, I'll put them in one at a time because they won't fit all at once. All right, I'm having a- Maybe several at a time. Well, yeah, I, I'm having- you a. Know, I can type them as you go if you want. Well, I've got them and I can cut and paste them, but they're, let's see if I can do that. Zoom is weird at times where you get the box. It keeps blocking that. where I'm, where I am. Yeah, you can probably do about one three at a time. And then see the other. All right, there it is. And it's there, okay. I just have to keep pulling it up, I guess. I think I can do this. Okay, question two. What president was a big fan of exercise? As part of his daily routine, he swam in the Potomac River every day. Question three. What president is famous for saying, quote, you want a friend in Washington? Get a dog. And, quote, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Okay. Up to question four. Who was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the outbreak of World War II? Okay. Question five, what president was never elected to either the presidency or the vice presidency. Yeah. 
number six. Both Presidents Carter and Clinton won Grammy Awards. What other president won two Grammy Awards? Number seven, what president had a beloved dog he named Fido that he took with him everywhere when he was campaigning and working at law? This is why the name Fido became a popular dog name, even though it is not common today. Number eight, what president appointed the first black Supreme Court justice, Thurgood Marshall? Number nine, who was the first president who spoke at the convention that nominated him? Just for clarification, before that, that was considered inappropriate behavior. And finally, number 10, Julia Eileen Gilliard was the only woman who has served as prime minister of Australia. She was also the first woman to be leader of her party. What was her party? Maybe is still her party, I don't know. Okay. Any last minute questions? Anything not clear? I think we're gonna see a bunch of eights. I, this looks good. I was thinking that there are probably two that are a little harder. Most of them are figure outable or at least good guessable. And you got limited amounts of presidents. I mean, we only had 46 oh, presidents, so. More figure outable. I think this is going to be probably pretty, pretty, pretty good scores. Good job. Let's see. Okay, so everybody all right? Let's, um, I gave you your power, right, Gail? I have the breakout rooms, yes. She's got the power. Watch out, girls, got the power. <laughs> oh, I've got to sign uh, James is going to go to five, right? With a little bit of something. I guess where James goes. Susan, I need to go to a room. Yeah, you are in three. Okay. Because that is your team. There you Thank go. you. Thank you, Susan. All right. All right. About 30. We're just not going to our rooms here. Let me see. I go to room... You go to. I go to your old room, so I go. I know silver away. I know silver away. <laughs> uh, it, it was a big anniversary of the. Uh, Hello, team. Hi. Hi. Hello, there. Is there yet? I, I don't know why she was so worried about the the non-Americans or the foreigners not knowing we learn more of American history than some of the guys here. Well, but Richard, yeah. Richard might know more. Like Dillard, you might know. Okay, so what do we do? Who's keeping, who's writing this all down? I'm Kevin writing them is. down. Kevin does? Okay. Who yeah. is the exerciser? Oh, that would be uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Has to, almost has to be. Certainly it wasn't now because nobody he was swam in the Potomac. Now. Probably. Swam in the Potomac. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, going all the way back to what's his name, um, to Teddy. Who? Teddy, Teddy was a big exercise. I, I think Teddy was a big environment, you know, environmentalist, but I think it was, I think it was, I, I think it was um, Roosevelt because he had polio, right. uh, uh, Franklin. So he swam every day in the Potomac with polio. Like polio? With polio? I'm confused. He was in a wheelchair, wasn't he? Yes. He was extremely strong. He had an elevator installed and he put the rope down and he pulled himself up the floor. Right. But did he that mean he could still strong. swim? Of course, maybe he no, drove. No. Maybe he drove in the Potomac every day. No, no, he's no. He's she said swim. Strong. He swam. He swam every day in the Potomac. I wouldn't be surprised. Put it down. Put it down. I'll put it, it down. But I nobody think would have to help him in and out of the water. But yeah, 
Yeah, put it down, Kevin. Okay. Okay. Do you guys have one? I got here a little late. Yes, yes Jefferson yeah. and John Adams. Okay. And three is on July fourth. Three is a dog. Three is Nixon, three, isn't it? Three is that's, that's, Truman. That's Truman. Yeah. Oh, is that Truman? Truman. And four is uh, Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. Who? Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Well, yeah. Chamberlain. well, now that wait a second. Was, was hang on, hang on. Was Chamberlain the prime minister? Or because I'm also thinking of Anthony Eden, and I was just wondering, um, who's the? I mean, who's the one that went over to you know peace in our time? Peace in our time. It was. It was it should have been peace in a time for a yeah. time. All right. The guy who went over to see Hitler and came back with the headline saying we're going to be fine. Yeah. That was yeah. Chamberlain. Okay. Wasn't that Chamberlain? Yeah, yeah but was he prime? But was he prime minister? That's why I'm saying was he prime yeah. minister when he did that? You're the one that. Yeah. Grew up with these monarchy things. You are the Brit. How come you don't know? Yeah, you should know. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm just wondering if it, if it was. Wait, Anthony, Alan's not Anthony a Brit. Either. Sorry, he's in Chicago. Hey guys, what, what office did, Canadian now. What office did Chamberlain? Did, 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 um, That's what we're trying to figure out. No, 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 no. Who's the yeah, can, you, can you stand this with a straight face? <laughs> it's hard. I mean, yeah, it's, it's better, Chamberlain better, or Chamberlain or Eden. I, I was thinking that uh, that Chamberlain was there representing, but I didn't know if that he was there as prime minister. Maybe don't he was. Know. I don't know. Who took over after Chamberlain? Churchill. Uh, That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Right. Wasn't he? Wasn't he prime minister? So do, do go with Chamberlain then. It's uh, okay. Richard 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 Chamberlain, the uh, the actor. Yeah. Nick yeah. Chamberlain. Okay. Okay. okay, number five. five was Ford, right? Daryl Ford. Yeah. We've had that question, yeah. and it's he. I remember, yeah. Number six, Sorry. I think I know the answer, but I want to hear what you guys have I to say. I cannot imagine. Why would they have a Grammy? How did the president win Grammy? I don't understand the Grammy. Grammy could, Nixon, yeah. could Nixon sing? Oh, no, no. I think it's spoken word Grammy, and I think it's Barack yeah. Obama. Oh, for his book. That's what I think. It's no, a spoken well, word thing. No, I don't, wouldn't we know? The Pulitzer Prize or. It's not a, a, is, there a spoken, is there a written a, a Grammy for written stuff? Have no, I think it's spoken word or something like that. So he wrote a book and then he read it or whatever. Oh, and maybe made an album out of it or something. I'm just thinking it's Barack Obama. I'm not what would Clinton sure. and Carter have a Grammy for? Who the heck knows? I think it's the same type of thing. Well, Clinton did play the saxophone, but I don't know if he played in any group that might You're have. not good enough to be a Grammy. Winner. Right. Well, That's he would be with a group or something. Like if you oh, played with the Philharmonic or something one night and they Hi, won, what are you doing? won a Grammy or something. Are you here hanging out? But I think it's Can a spoken you? word type of a thing. I never heard of this. I don't know. Neither do I. No it's idea. The kind of categories they don't show on TV. Okay, so pick something then, Kevin. We don't That's what I think. It's Obama, but I'm not. Right. I guess Obama is as good as that. Good as that. Put it down. <laughs> and who called the dog Fido? Um, Fido would have been. Um, Fred Flintstone. That was Dino. President you Flintstone. Sure, you sure it wasn't Play-Doh? <laughs> uh, Fido, Fido, Fido. Was that like in the did, 30s and the 40s? I don't know. Did Lincoln have a dog? I never heard of Lincoln. No. no. Never Fido Lincoln would have been like a... Um... Lincoln had a log, not a dog. <laughs> a dog cabin? <laughs> no. no, I'm thinking... Fido would have been something from like Hoover or Cold Cool Ridge or somebody like that, you know? Taft, somebody in there. What are we talking about? Like the 30s cool and 40s? Ridge. There was no president Cool Ridge. Cool Ridge. Cool, 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 cool Ridge. Whip. I don't know. Cool Ridge. Cool Whip. President Cool Whip. My cat's talking to me and she's just so cute. Um, you can cool give me a. Cool Ridge. I don't know. Taft, as good as the Fido the seems day. like something that you saw in the cartoons. Well, let's just go with Herbert Hoover because it's in the song from from uh, Why not? All good in the enough. Family. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Uh, the first black Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall was from Johnson, from maybe? Yeah. Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, that's more like it with the time. Who's LBJ? LBJ. And who is the first president who spoke at the convention that nominated him? Uh, I think that was 
Wait, the, what's the next the question? question is uh, when? When would it have been? Would have been? Would have it have turned from inappropriate to appropriate? When it was on well, TV. Well, it wasn't Lincoln. Why wasn't it Lincoln? No, I don't think there he were didn't, nominees. He didn't. He was not. He was still in. Uh, well, the second time he was still in, I think Springfield when he won. Not when you won. I'm talking about when he was nominated by, by the. Uh, no, he was. He I don't. Wasn't at a I don't think he went. I don't think he spoke at the. I don't think he did. I don't remember that. He was like a. Third I have voice. a feeling it's they spoke at the convention when they got nominated. It wasn't until TV came on. Mm. Could it be that? Or we radio. had a category once on televised um, presidential. I did that way back when we were doing the presidential nominations. I had a category on it. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah. And sure. I don't remember any. <laughs> I just remember I did a category. McKinley. No. Why not? He's too okay. early. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I, I'm okay with that. I don't, I'm I don't just know. a guest here, so whatever you guys Late say. Late 1800s, early 19s. Rob, how come we, this picture comes up and not you? It's this woman. <laughs> what? Oh, that's Gail. No, are you talking about Rob? Rob. What do you Rob's see? Rob's on his cell phone. Your, oh, that's because be he's, he's got his video here. turned off because it's probably, it's hard for him to... I'm in a dark room. In the bathroom. Right I'm in a dark room. Don't go there. I don't want to hear about him going to the bathroom. Probably was He's sitting on the toilet time. right now. No! <laughs> My, my little guest room, but it's very dark. Are you a guest? We're, we're not, not guest I have no now. idea for 10. Labor? Is that a Kangaroos. party? That... It's the kangaroo court. I don't know. <laughs> Is Is there... Are... I don't know. Are the parties the same there as... as oh, as, God. As... Susan, we should know this. We, we, we should know this. Oh, yeah. You guys do the... So, okay, Rob, it's yours and, yours and Lou. They do that. They do the Australian Prediction Project. Every Tuesday, and it's well, a lot of it's politics. Is, I think one is the Labor Party. Uh, I know there's a Labor. Do they have a Tory party? No, no. Not, not by that name. They have a Conservative Party, but Labor is actually the Conservative Party. I know I there's a Labor Party. Blues. What would be the other name of the other party? The Blue. No. Mm. Can't remember. Careful, sweetie pie. Don't know. Well, it would be like donuts. the Britney Spears party. We no. Got a couple of donuts. Just put labor because what else, you know, it's, we're just guessing. Yeah, what I is guess. number nine? I don't have an answer for nine. I thought it was McKinley. McKinley, McKinley. okay, that's right. Well, Lou says McKinley. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Could have been, could have been. Yeah, but food. you didn't know the last one and you saved us. We got a point because you didn't know something. And then you got one wrong. You got one right. Then we should have had two points. Your nose is all wet. Yeah. I think I know I'm, what I'm, saying. Here, I'm seriously thinking uh, that this is a mistake uh, to let other people do categories. Yeah. Pardon? You thinking what? That it was a mistake to let other people do categories. At some know. level, it might be. I feel. But I, Rob, I've liked your category. categories. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to send everybody back and. Those are rooms. Rob, I liked your categories. I didn't have a problem with thank, it. Thank you. I'll be the back. In my I'll meet you. I'll meet you. Mine weren't too me. bad. I don't think mine were too bad. Did I you guys pick 10? Goals. Yeah, we got 10 answers. Okay. Pala, 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 la, 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 la. Hi, Hamilton. Tell Hamilton I love him. Isabella says she loves you. She's right up there. Hi, Hamilton. You have to bring him like uh, treats when you come over. Like um, okay, I'll do that. Bacon something because he's okay. really shy of strangers, and I have okay. to. I'll put him in a place where you can bond with him. Okay, so you I will. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I get yeah, my second see. vaccine April 31st. April 30th. Yeah, April 30th. Okay, early mid mid May. We're gonna have a party, you guys. Of course, I can't wait. My Hamilton. wife gets her second shot the same day. Ooh, okay. Priva. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be starting. Actually, my mom's a little nervous for it, but I'm supposed to be starting like hybrid school next week. You mean? Oh, going 
Yeah, he, like going into school. You'd be right. You're going to be next almost vaccinated. Week. But the school did like, a, actually did like a vaccine clinic today for some of the students. And I think they gave out like what, 200 shots or more, over 200 plus shots, which is good. All that. my classes that I'm in, they're like, just like this, my, I have an art class. I only really have two classes. So I have my art class, which is only like 12 people. And then my literature class, which is only like 16 people, but only eight want to come in for the literature class. So it'll be a small group. <laughs> be like a small book group it'll did, be did it'll i be overhear fun. you someone say you're going to chico for college i am yes for nursing she posted i've just seen her on facebook <laughs> how exciting i yeah, went I there, but I, did, I didn't take congratulations nursing, isabella thank you well, why did you decide against hawaii i decided because i was able to get um they had the particular pr also I wanted to be in California and I was able to get, I, I was able to get like a scholarship sort of that was going to help me with tuition. And then if, if Chico was going to be offer me more kind of like support services and diff just different, there was more, more stuff that I kind of wanted. What is Chico? It's by Sacramento. Uh, yeah. It's like two hours north of Sacramento. It's like, oh. it's like out in the middle of nowhere. It is a state university in California. Yeah. <laughs> California It'll be in the same university. time zone we're in right now. So that's, yeah. Yeah. And just it's about like, three hours from where we are right it's now. It's like three hours north of Sacramento in the middle of nowhere. Wait, north of Plus Sacramento? It's, it's, east yeah. of, yeah. it's, it's east of the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, but the one of the la Lassen National Park is like an hour away. And it's then the, a very the, nice place. And so you can go, the college, they have like a whole, it's called, a, it's like they have a whole like adventuring club and they take you like, backcountry skiing and they do different like really really like outdoorsy stuff which I really like so I'm excited <laughs> I, I you should be excited all right gal ready you can uh -huh. ski from Chico I, I think, know yeah I think we did good I, I think, think this so is a too. good I'm category around let's the hear it gal okay Go. question one what two retired presidents have been political adversaries died within two hours of each other on the fourth of July John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. Adams and Jefferson. Hey. And in fact, the last words that John Adams said was, Thomas left, Jefferson still lives. And he'd actually been dead for two hours. <laughs> I remember. What president was a big fan of exercise? As part of his daily routine, he swam in the Potomac River every day. John Quincy Adams. Uh -oh. Oh. Couldn't do that today. Uh, no, and apparently that was a big deal back then, too. I thought for sure it was FDR. What president is famous for saying, you want a friend in Washington, get a dog, and you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen? It's Harry Truman. Yep. Very good. He, he, he with the buck that stops up. there. Right. His middle name was also, it was not, S was not an initial. Right. His it was middle just, name. Uh, just, it was just I've been to his name. house. Well, Who was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the outbreak of World War II? Neville Chamberlain. Neville Chamberlain. I said Harold. Wrong. Neville. What president, remember? You remember? We will have peace in our time. Uh, that was just before yep. the war. What president was never elected to either the presidency or vice presidency? Gerald Ford. Yeah. Oh. And, and Donald Eagle's Trump. Go. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was elected, maybe not legitimate way. Gerald Ford became became vice president when the vice president was was gone, and then Agnew he, he was, for tax evasion. became president when the president died. Both presidents Carter and Clinton won Grammy awards. What other president won two Grammy awards? The answer is Barack Obama. Oh, yes, you got it. Several of you noticed this. There are Grammy awards for spoken works. Right, and he wanted for. Yes. Oh, uh, Karen thought it was for a Barry White cover album. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Carter won his Grammy for. Then Barack I remember Hussein that Obama. was just. Barry White. I remember that was in my dreams. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Tell. Okay, what president yeah, was a, had a beloved dog named Fido that he took with him everywhere when he was campaigning and working at law? This is the name Fido was a stereotype dog name. Even though Psycom today, several of the teams noticed that the law was a big hint. The answer is Abraham Lincoln. 
Oh, yeah. Wow, we said it. I'm talking oh, about there's it. no way. I, 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 no, I can't even. We're president wow. appointed to the first black Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, Lyndon Johnson. Woo! It'll be Jay. Who was the first president who spoke at the convention that nominated him? That's FDR. All right. Oh, I was, yeah, okay. Yeah, he, that was a, was totally against it. He got up there and he said, you know you're going to nominate me. Uh, <laughs> number 10, Julia Gifford was the, Julia Gilliard was the only woman who serves as prime minister in Australia. She was, the party was the Labor Party. Yay! And I assume Gillard. you got that right, huh? Yeah, Julia Gillard. Gillard, okay. Yeah. How many yous are in there? Gillard? Yous? No, yous in Labor Oh, none, none. <laughs> no. none. They, they spell L -A -B -O -U -R. it wrong. No, they spell it L A B O R, I think. They don't, you, you, yeah, that's you. how it was written. It's just a quirky spelling. In the story. Yeah. This I know. Driving me nuts. You're driving me nuts. I can't type. He wants to be on my hands. Great job. But let's see what these scores are. Okay, so let's go with uh, the one that's in the last place right now. Hi ho, Silver! Away! Who is that mass team? Seven. Okay. The three legged dogs. Eight. Eight. Ooh. Okay. And then that would be nobody here but us chickens? Five. He's pulling down the average. Uh, then explain wobblers, which is when I'm. Nine. Saying. Yeah, pulling up the oh. average. Yes, we did. Um, and with a little bit of starch, you can do anything. Eight. So I was right. Average of about eight, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the here's the um, scores. With a little bit of starch, you can do anything. Is in the twenties. Just hit twenty. 19, 17, and then tie for it with 15. Woohoo! Paula's here now. Hi, Paula. She said she, Hi, she, Paula. She, she said she wanted to listen, but she's gonna do more than listening. We need her on our team because Rob's leaving. Yeah, that's true. Time for a break. Oh, and we need to do a picture. Let's do a picture before we do that. Go anywhere. Okay. <sighs> I'll go get. James, my last, my pie. Rob, Paula, do you want to stay as James? Rob, do you, do you want to be pictures or just your names? I'm fine with just the name. I'm not at my phone right now. <laughs> well, put your picture of your cat. That's better. I like I'm not going to take yeah, a chance on uh, trying to get a okay. one. All right, video. But smile, Thanks. James. Anyway. <laughs> 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 two. What do you mean, two, Robin? Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, picture. Good kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. All right, one more time. Wait, wait. You got, your, got your kitty? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no! All right, three, two, one, kitty. All right. <laughs> it's like, give me a hurt, give me a break. Did he did he poke his nail into you? Oh, he was all over me. I got hair everywhere too. He's just and he wants to be on me here on the desk where my hands are. <laughs> he does not want to be anywhere else. Okay, five minute break. I'll put us on pause. Good night, Good night Avi. Avi. Good night. I just try to solve. So I'd try and solve a side. I could solve a side and then I couldn't get anywhere. So I looked it up and it's like it, it, you need to solve middles before you solve edges. Yeah. And so I when I looked that up, then I got to where I could solve middles and I looked for help along the way, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not a genius. So, well, hi, Mark. Rubik hi, guys was saying, and gals. Rubik, of course, said that he put the thing together, the first one that he had that actually worked, and then he didn't know what to do. Right. Careful to he, he, he twisted it and he had it undone, and then suddenly he didn't know what to do. Right. He had no algorithms. He had no clue what he was doing. Oh, no algorithms. <laughs> What's the name of that? Uh, what, what's the name of that autobiography, Lou? Biography. Cubed, cubed, C U B E D, and just a minute, I'll give you the secondary title of it because it's on my 
list of books that I've read. The Puzzle of Us All, cubed, Q-B-E-D, The Puzzle of Us All. No, I want to sit down. Oh. Thanks, Lou. Interesting book. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Very interesting. Uh, his design philosophies are interesting also. And you got to be careful with the with the chair because it keeps hitting the computer. Let's see. see the computer here? Hi, Mark Edward. Hi. Hi. He came by to say hi to you. Richard guys. Saunders. Hey. How's everything? Not too bad. I want to come to Salinas. Well, get mm -hmm. on a plane. No, he has to Robin, be Robin, you're first. muted. Come on down, Richard. Where's Caspian? We got you. Caspian on there? He was. I think he's on break or something. The last bit of Caspian's pumpkin pie. Mm. Ooh. Where is Caspian and Jamie? I see you. I see a wave. Oh, there they are. Getting, I could see it there. They're right there. Oh, hiding. I can get on a plane, but it won't take me to uh, to Salinas. Well, if you can get one to San Francisco, I'll drive you to Salinas. He has to be you, vaccinated. They're not vaccinating over in Australia. I, I, I understand. Yeah. We'll all have a big party. We're going to have one in mid-May. One more bite. Well, maybe. Deborah, we still haven't found it if we're going to go up to the Gold Coast. The Gold... Um, Country. Gold I'm Country. going to Arizona next week. Are you going to sift for gold, Susan? No. Where in Arizona? I the think. Gold Coast, the Gold Country. I think so. Robin? Yes. Where? Where? Um, to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Oh. Her daughter's over there hiking. Picking up my daughter. She's going to finish the Arizona Trail. Oh, she'll finish she's, it. Uh, she's amazing. I don't, how many miles kind of, is that? It's still kind of cold up there. Yeah. yeah it's really it's about there. It's around almost 800 miles, and they're, at, uh, oh, they're oh. close to mile 500 oh. right now. I can mm. Wow. They they left Pine, which is mile five sixty, I think, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Wow! So they should be about five ninety. Does she go with I mean, friends? Four, four, I'm sorry, just four, go on her own and meet up with four, people. Four ninety. Four ninety. She's well, she's with three. Uh, there's a group of three, but they also run into other people on the trail, and they they group up in little bubbles and stuff. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I wow. get my first, my last, my, my second vaccine on Monday, and then I'm leaving on Friday. I'm still going to try to stay away from people, but what do I, do? Um, I think you're probably safer on the North Room of the Grand Canyon than you are at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have something in this area around Memorial Day weekend, Phoebe. Over my house. So we'll I know, would you just, see y'all later? I brought it in here. I'm waiting. Um, see you, Mark Edward. Bye. He's giving you his powers. All right, so I think I'm going to go up to Bryce Canyon too. Bryce is nice. Bryce Eight thousand feet. Oh, I like Bryce. Bryce I, is I, love I, Bryce. I remember. So I remember spending a night at Bryce Canyon in a tent. In uh, must have been just after Easter weekend, and it was 18 degrees over there. Uh, no, oh, no, wow. no, no, it is pretty high. We went though. in November where there was lots of snow. Yeah, it was. It was 8,000 8, and some feet. I was there in the summer both times. Well, one time was May and one time was in the summer, and it was comfortable both times because of the altitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the only uh, podcaster we have here today is um, Richard. Richard, mm. uh, data here. Mark, here's your water. Uh, data skeptic. I don't know where it happened to Kyle. He's probably off on oh, some adventure. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was mine. No, this is mine. <laughs> um, uh Jim Newman said, "Just tell everybody hello." He can't make it. He might make it in time for bonus. He is doing, helping out with a play, uh, Importance of Being an Earnest. He's helping them with that. Hmm. And um, I wanted to mention that I did watch on HBO Max. There's a really good documentary on the cult of all cults, the Heaven's Gate cult. It's four hmm. shows. Fantastic. Well, that I one's really good. So Worth much. watching? Yes, definitely. <laughs> and it's only four. I so watching great. that. I was, it was eye-opening to me. Absolutely eye-opening. Mm -hmm. And um, we should all say hello to Wendy in case she's watching this video because we miss Wendy. Oh, yeah. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Get better and come Hi, back. Hi, Wendy. We, we needed you to go for the, for the British Wendy. Civil Wars. Huh? I heard somebody say something. It was in your head. 
<laughs> it's possible. Okay, Richard. Yeah, coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast, number 653 on the 18th of April, we have a walk down King Street in the suburb of Newtown, looking at all the alternative woo and complimentary shops down that strip. We have the Trove section looking into telekinesis. And hopefully tonight I will bring you the book launch of Dr. Brad's new book, Fake Medicine. All that and more on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. Last week was terrific. I loved the interview with Dunning and Roberts and made yeah, that it very was fun. good. That was really funny. good. Can I bring up uh, Skepticam? Sure. Coming up on May 15th in uh, our, our very first Skepticam in Calgary. And it is mountain time, uh, 9.30 till quarter after four is what we have it scheduled to on Saturday, May 15th. And our lovely Kelly Burke, who has left tonight, she's sleeping. She will be one of our speakers. So I'm very excited. And we have lots of local people who are uh, very interesting. One of who is just finished his PhD in poultry vaccination. And he's going to give us a talk on vaccination. He actually helped with our covert COVID effort up here in Canada. So interesting people we have. So check it out. It's on our website. I'll put it in the chat. It'll I'll be Zoom, it. right? Yeah. It's going to be a Zoom thing. It's a Zoom thing. And it will also be uh, streamed on YouTube. So and it's free. So it's going to be like we did Monterey County Skeptics, yeah. where you just come in and you spend the day and you hang out and you bring your really food short in. Short talks, 20 minutes each. I, I 10 minute Q&A kind of thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm running it like Susan did, so I'm not trying to It should be a lot of fun. Really. I'm looking forward like to meeting some new people that we don't know who they are normally. Yeah. And Adrian, you'll repeat that over the next few weeks, right? Oh, sure will, if you would like. If you will yeah. allow me, I would be Please. very happy to do that. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to it already. This is going to be fun. It's been on my calendar for a while. Well, it's been on my calendar for a long while because I thought I was actually going to go up to Calgary a long time ago. And then it's the June. pandemic. Yeah. Hey, Susan, I th I, I, it just occurred to me. I think I've been bad luck because the last time the Portlands had a, a, a skeptical meeting, I was the speaker. The, and they haven't had one since. The Victorian skeptic had skeptic camp where I spoke and they haven't had one since. Um, I think you've had one in Monterey where I spoke and you haven't had one since. Yeah, you know what I just, of Richard Saunders. I just remembered another coincidence. You know what, Richard, now it's starting to make sense because we were talking about this. There's a group chat that we have for the prediction project, the Australian prediction project. Yeah. And on in January of this last year, I was making my bed and I was moving my phone and I accidentally hit a button that called everybody. Oh, yeah. And so people were picking up and I'm like, what are these voices coming from? <laughs> and it was my phone and they, and I just hung up on them, but they stayed and they were on and they said, oh, how interesting. Let's watch this election thing that's happening on January the 6th that was going on. Let's see what's going on. And, and Richard's like, well, maybe they'll explain it to me. And Adrian goes, how interesting. Maybe the Americans will explain it to us. And then the riot <laughs> start, started. All hell broke loose. Yeah. yeah. And so Richard was actually, now that I think about it, was on there. So maybe it's, maybe it is his fault. And today, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly said, oh, my God, I think I just hit the button and called everybody. And I said, no, you didn't. Good thing. Because the last time that happened. All shit went hell to hell in, in the capital. <laughs> you uh, know, it true. just occurred to me that Oregonians for Science and Reason's last talk was Richard. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Hey, Richard, Wait, you are really you available? Get around, you... Richard, you really get around. <laughs> R Richard, are you available for colonoscopies? <laughs> 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 and that was a good Richard was... to like North Korea or something, and maybe there you is. go. That that was a good Trump re election speech. It's a one person <laughs> cancel culture. <laughs> I, uh, great idea. I, I really it's liked so the one good. I did for the Oregonians because that venue was really good. It was just a lot of fun. I and think we should yeah. mention this on that the next great. Skeptic Zone. It's too bad it was our last one. Yeah. Adrian, you could do a math thing about it. You can say correlation versus causation. <laughs> yeah, correlation does equal Richard. causation, right? And, yeah. and I was at Dragon Con in 2019. They haven't had one since. And, <laughs> well, wait, wait. You you were not at PsyCon. 
2019. Well, he's like, but, but you're, but every you're, place you're he goes, it, he kills, but there are other reasons for things to stop. Right. <laughs> no, <laughs> really? Come on. The real Lester. question is, Richard, really? do you snap your fingers when you're there? Like, Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Isabella, dear. Miss Chico girl. Okay. Let's hear it. We're on doing really good on time today. Yeah, let's I'm here. Like, I was just getting it uh, way, I was getting an it's it. Sorry. An it's it. That's an ice cream. Yeah, it sure it's is. It. I'm on anyway. my way. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. Um you mm -hmm. mute everybody. Well, no, tell, tell us tell us, oh, tell yeah. us the topic oh, yeah. so we can get to grow okay. for so this category is kind of weird. It's like, so every day on uh, like morning edition of NPR, they do like a weird like fact of the day type thing where they say something really kind of weird. So my questions are based off of the weird facts that they give out every day that I've kind of been collecting over the last two weeks-ish. So they're kind of like Yay, all over the place. I listen every morning. They're kind of all over the place, but yeah. So it's, I guess so the theme is NPR. This morning i don't know finally but, finally something janine can do they're weird <laughs> they're they're very bizarre but i don't thought it would be fun i'll to call the category npr weird yeah. things yeah that works <laughs> okay okay uh let me see this guys yeah okay muting in three two one okay so i was able to find pictures for a couple of these because they did talk about this so um i have the pictures for view because there's two questions that have pictures with them okay number one is how old is the world's oldest fish no. ambiguous question are you saying when uh like how old is the fish the fossil, or how old is the actual animal? No, like the actual, like fish, like the living fish. A living fish, like Charles the fish. How like if it was it? born like yesterday, how, like you know, like how old is? Is this like a cow? what's the longest living fish? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, so that's not a particular individual fish that's alive. Yeah, a today? particular individual fish. It like is a particular individual fish. Like, like Charlie like, the tuna. How old is Charlie the tuna? Type yeah, of thing? essentially. Yeah. Oh no. Is there a range though? Uh. And currently alive and it's, in captivity in captivity or what i mean how do they know if they interviewed them all come on <laughs> uh, they, they cut them in half keep and going, count the range going. they count keep the going, keep going have you guys ever heard of what is it fungi the dolphin so no one ever heard of fungi? okay so it's this dolphin that's in ireland and apparently it's been around for like uh, 50 years so it's kind of like it lives in like an area of water and everyone's like oh that's that fish that's been around for so many years I so we got a baseline of 50 is, years. No, you, you have a recently expired. You, you have a baseline of uh you have a baseline of 50 oh. years. But so is it is it one that's currently alive or just yeah, it's still currently alive. Currently alive, okay. Supposedly. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, that was so confusing. Are you gonna have a link for this when we all get it wrong? Yeah, I'll have a link for it. Um okay. Number two, which English royal said they wanted to be reincarnated as a deadly virus? A, Queen Elizabeth, B, Camilla Parker Bowles, C, Prince Philip, or D, Princess Margaret? I thought that was fitting, giving last week's news. <laughs> I don't think that copied right, okay. Let me re let me put the letters into it. Okay. Number three. Um, is Goofy a dog or a cow? Um, okay, number five. 
Is this bird real? Wait a minute, hold it. What happened to four? A three. Oh, sorry. That was number three. Let me re clarify that as number three. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Okay. That's number three. Sorry. That's that's number three. Okay. Number 43. Yeah. Enough, number, number three. Okay, that, that'll work. Okay. Um, let's see. Is this bird real or fake? I will show you a picture of said bird. Okay. Let me pull it up. And then let me share my screen. Okay, that's the bird. Is this bird real or fake? <laughs> okay, let's see. Number six. No, number, wait. No, six. this, sorry, that was, oh my gosh, okay. That was number four. four. This bird is real or fake, that's number four. I'm sorry. Uh, and then number five, sorry. Um, in 1985, Cray the Crayola Company created a co uh, created a contest for people to name a new shade of pink that they were releasing, like a limited edition shade of pink. Uh, which of, which of these names was not a real submission name? So which of these names is essentially like made up? Uh, Carnation, Razzle My Dazzle Pink. Mexican pink and dog wiener pink. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Number six. Do blue reuse? Uh, let's see. In in twenty in early twenty twenty during the COVID nine during the beginning of the COVID nineteen outbreak, a rumor was a rumor started that blue reusable masks contain a similar substance to asbestos that grew on the internet. Is this rumor true or false? Was this rumor actually true or false? <laughs> Do you mean was it a real mean, was rumor? There, yeah, was, was it a real rumor or was it a fake rumor? Was, was it in fact a rumor or was the content of the rumor true? Was the content of the rumor true? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, true or false? Bread can be used as a pencil eraser. Like, uh, yeah, as a pencil eraser. That's number seven. Okay. Number eight. Would you can, is this picture moist? Let me pull up the picture. I groaned. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm laughing at Karen. <laughs> Let me pull up the picture. This is the picture. Is this picture moist? Yes or no? Well, yeah. Okay. I will, if, if needed be, I will reshare the pictures in the, in the um, breakout rooms. <laughs> okay. Um, Number 10, how many planes have crashed in Florida due to- Number nine. Number oh, sorry, four. number nine, sorry. Number nine, how many planes have crashed in Florida due to gender reveal party stunts? A, 11, B, four, C, 23, or D, one? Okay, Karen, go for it. What do you, laugh your head <laughs> off. Okay, let's see. Um, oh my goodness, okay. Um, and then 
I think I forgot to write a number 10. Okay. Um, can I just leave it at that? Susan, is that like against the rules or is that okay? I'll automatically get a point. Make, make something up. <laughs> um, Do you remember what today's one was? What's, what's Isabella's middle name? Mm -hmm. or yeah, what's my middle name? Let's go with that. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Close enough. Do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. okay. This is like a six. Do you have any like snapples? Me. Crack one open for the interesting fact. Unfortunately not. Oh no, that would be good. All right, here we go. I think you guys have been asking all the questions as we went along, so we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Paula, fun. Paula is going to go over where Rob was. So you're going- I told you, Susan, I'm cooking. I can't play, I'm just listening. Well, you can yell out answers. I'm not joining any group. Okay, fine, fine. I'm going to the unexplained wobblers. Yeah. Is this picture? Hello, team. Hello. Hello. Is this a subje a, 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 a subjective decision on people's part? I mean, <laughs> but anyway, let's get to that. How okay. old is the world's oldest fish? Jeb. The, the <laughs> dolphin R the fish is 50. No, it's a name, like a. <clears throat> no, I, yeah. But how old? Essie. Is... No, they don't want the name. They want to know how old she wants. To oh. Know how old. oh, how old? We don't care what you want to call the fish. You can yeah, call it. Uh, sixty-two. Like <laughs> no. A hundred and twenty-eight. Could there be a fish that? that. <laughs> In yeah. fish years. Do they have fish ears? No. <laughs> like dog ears? Um, well, you can the claim they have fish ears and say our around, answer is right no matter what. They go around the sun, so whenever whenever they were born. Right. Watch. And I got I got the idea that it wasn't like what type of fish is, you know usually lives longest they that she meant one particular I fish a specific individual so fish somewhere to me. Well, it's older than they 50. know how old it is it's older than 50 she gave that away in the hint whatever I, number you guys i'm i'm only a guest here so whatever you come up with i guessed i guessed 128 i figured we all would just guess something and we'd pick a number <laughs> i'm thinking in the 60s because gosh how old can a fish be I don't know. Aaron, don't know. come on. Hey, oh, everybody went home on your field. Yeah, the game it's ended. Over. The game ended. They all left. Who won? It was a tie. You know how soccer goes. Oh, yeah. A soccer? Zero, zero I thought tie. it was football. No, it's soccer. Well, if you're in England, it's football. Everywhere outside the U.S., it is football. I don't know these things. Except Brazil, who's also soccer. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Which is a little weird. Okay, so which English royal said they wanted to be reincarnated as a deadly virus? I doubt I it think, was Queen Elizabeth. I, no, I think that's one of the, the horrible things that the recently deceased Philip said. Princess Margaret. Well, I think it's Prince, Prince Philip, and I also think because Isabella said, after reading the whole thing, she said, which is kind of, I, I forget the exact wording she used, but she said, which is kind of weird based on, you know, the recent. I, I think, I, I think I, agree. I, I read this in an article of horrible things Philip has said during his life. That would make sense that it would recently be on NPR too. Yeah. 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 So it's probably yeah. Philip, even though I think it's probably, I would think Margaret would have said something like that too. I, uh, yeah. Um, I can picture her saying it, um, but then that is her father, so. It, Camilla is a deadly virus. <laughs> I'm recording this. Agreed. That's okay. okay. No. Everybody knows it. Okay. Number the goofy is definitely a dog. Goofy yeah. Because yeah. I was going to remember I made a category about dogs and I and Goofy was part of the he was either one of the answers or he was somebody I was going to pick. So he's a dog. But but 
it, I mean, this is why, why would cow even be an option? That looks like a cow. Hilarious. The questions were so funny to me. <laughs> the dog. Well, that's why they're weird. Cause he was a dog. I mean, he looks like a cow. So they probably, NBR probably had a conversation. How does he look like a cow? <laughs> well, you look at him when we're done. Yeah, look. He has ears. Those are, <laughs> those are dog ears. <laughs> yeah, he's a dog. He's yeah. a dog. A dog. And the bird isn't real or fake. I think real. it's real. Probably real. Well, and, and just quickly going back to Goopy, if if your cow had ears like Goopy has, you'd be taking him to the vet. There's something seriously wrong. Well, he's wearing clothes. If my cow wore clothes <laughs> and could talk, I'd be a multi billionaire. Wouldn't it be taking you to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what was it? We what was the next one? Oh, the was it a real or a fake bird? Okay, now Carl, are you really going to read, read the whole thing and give us some, make us change our minds, and then be feel really okay. awful? About Aaron, it. Aaron said, Aaron said it's real. Do you know that that, or you're guessing? I, I'm guessing. I think it's real. You think it's real? Why would there be a picture discussion about like? Did they put this on NPR and said this is well, real or fake? Possibility one is that it's fake. The other possibility is it was so goofy looking people wouldn't believe it was real. So if they were having a conversation about this on NPR, they mm. would somebody would say, did you see that photograph of that bird? Did you realize that it is fake? Yeah. Or, or, say or everybody argument, says it's fake. It's actually or, or it could be that it's fake and they were talking about some computer technology that using AI that was inventing a bird based on Oh, so you're just talking us out of this. Great, <laughs> great, Carl. Thanks a lot. Or, or how people forward things all the time and yeah. say, oh, isn't this gorgeous? And it's like somebody's Photoshop project. Um, but but do, how shall we decide? There are five well, of us. We could vote. So th the I'm only thing I'm thinking about, now. this is NPR, this is radio. So it has to be something they would be talking about and they might say, and you can go to the website to look at the thing we're just discussing, but it would have to be something that wouldn't require you to have any interest in the story to actually see the picture. That's be something you can discuss on the radio. So, so I can see NPR saying that somebody has come up with a bird that looks so realistic, but it's it's a computer faked it. Or the internet was a buzz this week when the controversy ar arose around the real pink billed bird. People were saying yeah. it's real, it's fake, it actually is real. This is the power of the internet. I mean, we can make up a story either way. Yeah. That's why we love you, Karen. plausible either way. <laughs> I don't know. And, and um, not driving to work every morning, I don't listen to NPR as much as I used to. Same here. I do. <laughs> You think it's real? Well, then you should know this one, Karen. Let's say it's real. No, I do. I listen every day, and I haven't heard any of these. <laughs> okay, Jane says real. Why not? I, I want to live in a world where that's a real bird. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> all right. All right, fine. That was the first thing I thought anyway. So now what about this Crayola thing? I had a category on Crayola crayons, and nothing came out with this. I don't remember seeing this, so I don't have a... I can't I don't, imagine that dog wiener would have been considered even something to put out. No, no, submission. There. She said, yeah, what yeah. names were submitted? You better believe somebody submitted dog, dog, dog wiener dog pink. Wiener pink. Well, can, can we, I mean, a lot of her questions, she was telling us a question that isn't the way she put it out in the question here. Like this says they created a, a, a okay, they created a con contact, a contest for people to name a new shade of pink. Would, would they have put that out in 1985? Would they have put the contest out there with the idea of fill in the blank? I mean, it's 1985, it's pre-internet. You're not filling, you're not checking off a form. It would have to be people who were either going to the Crayola factory or- <laughs> They could have said, they could have put out a thing and say, send a postcard. Could you know what, I think it's carnation. I think it's carnation because I think there's already a color called carnation in, in uh, Crayola Grands. But was there a color called carnation? Maybe that's the one that won. 
I think Razzle My Dazzle well, sounds like reason. something that Isabella would make up. <laughs> but I, but I, I believe, and I may be wrong on this, but I do think Razzle My Dazzle was a color in Crayola. Okay. She, Isabella, Isabella can't Isabella, handle it. She's gotta, she's gotta turn off her video. She can't like the screen out. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> okay, so it's the way you're saying it, it's the Razzle mellow tone voice. Dazzle. Carl, Carl, you say Razzle My Do we think it's Razzle My Dazzle? <laughs> or is it Razzle My Dazzle? <laughs> or Razzle My Dazzle? Oh, Razzle My Dazzle. Okay. How would your cat say it? Uh, my cats don't speak English. But they go. <laughs> okay, but the but but it was submissions. What which I think incarnations were submitted, and w which one was not submitted? Carnation, because there's already a carnation, so they couldn't. Well, that doesn't mean somebody didn't submit it. Well, I, I mean, you can't, like, if they're saying come up with a new color, you can't submit the color black. We already got black. Can anybody, so you're... Can anybody explain what would be Mexican pink? What would somebody come up with as Mexican pink? I don't pink? know. I, I, That's like no, the color of the, like, the adobe, I guess. There, there are homes I've seen that are got, like, this adobe kind of pink look to it. Not pink. Mexican pink. Be kind of like hot pink. Oh, I needed to ask Isabella a clarification on number six. Well, you can call her for help. Ask for help. Do blue? No, because then I get called. Let's just oh, call okay. Susan for help, okay. and she won't. Help. Are you sure that carnation pink was not the result of this contest in the eighties? You're you, you're sure carnation it, it w was a color before this contest in the eighties? It seems like it'd be a color. <laughs> the other ones are just too funny. Well, all but one of them are correct, real things. That's so. right. That's why I think they're funny, because why else would NPR be talking about it? It is weird. Oh, that's a good point. They when, wouldn't be putting if they're gonna list the, the, If they're going to list the four funniest names, Carnation isn't one of the four funniest things. That's a, that's a, that's name a that good argument be. for Carnation. Or Carnation won, oh, Carnation you. was submitted and won. Other submissions included. Yeah, that's a possibility. Puke, puke pink, dog wiener pink, uh, razzle my dazzle. There was no puke. No puke. Maybe at your house, not at my house. Well, there was a couple days ago on Mark's art. I don't know if you guys saw that on Facebook. Okay, okay. how yeah, will we that. decide? How will we decide? I don't know. We, I'm just we, a could guess go, here. we could go with the idea that once you open up suggestions to the public, you get things like Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, Carnation, so Carnation probably isn't one of the suggestions that the public sent in. It's just... I've given common. you my ideas. You guys can outvote me. Why don't, why don't we put that anyway. down? Why don't we put that down, move through the rest of the yeah. answers, and we can come back to it if need be. Okay, so, so I don't think that Mass So the question, so for number six, I need to know, does she, is she saying that some re blue reusable masks using a, a sim substance like asbestos or all blue reusable masks contain an asbestos-like substance? Well, read the question again then. Well, what she has written is, 2020, do blue reusable masks contain asbestos-like substances? I think it's a perfect question. <laughs> it I find it, it amazing. It's perfect. It well, right how, how would you answer that question if some did and some didn't? None had it. It doesn't resemble the question she asked verbally, though. They wouldn't put it out for sale. It's a verbal no, no, no. Asbestos-like. Not asbestos. Asbestos-like. That doesn't that doesn't mean it causes oh, cancer. It just means so that it's fun. Well, you guys well, similar to debate everything. I, I think I think the item here is to say, don't overthink this. Let's just go with false. They're not going to be using asbestos. Absolutely, as product. I agree with that. Question doesn't say it uses. I I object to that thought process because I, it doesn't I, say asbestos as asbestos <laughs> life. You can <laughs> object all you want over there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> arguing that you're wrong with it, with delving deeply into the question. I'm, I'm not just, delving deeply into the question. I'm reading the question exactly like it's written. As okay. best as like question something. number eight. I think you can use bread as an eraser. Carl, I, I think you're you're outnumbered, Carl. 
it's I think bread can be used as a racer. No matter, yes. No matter how we look. I think the, bread. Yes. And I know erasers can be used as the back of a of an earring thing when your earrings falling off. You put the eraser yeah. and you put. And, in and what about bread. seven? Bread can be yes. used as a pencil eraser. Oh, I thought in that fact, was eight. I heard it. Oh, okay, got it. Eight is, is this picture and of I, the coronavirus. And I can confirm it because I heard that on NPR. That's wonderful. Whoa, she I, apo I apologize. I can't see the question, so I got them mixed up. So I have true for number seven. Okay. Yeah. Eight is this picture moist. Was that coronavirus? <laughs> I think so. Why, why, what is that a question of? What are they saying? What, what, look moist? what does that question either be, even mean? Is this picture moist? <laughs> I guess they're trying to say, does it look like it's moist? Like I it's gotta be or, or, or it, does this question make you uncomfortable the same way the word moist makes some people uncomfortable? <laughs> only you, only you, Carl. I tried touching it. It felt dry to me. Dane Cook has an entire section of a stand-up routine about how some people are offended by the word moist. <laughs> oh, is that true? And then he, then they ask, do they find other words? What do they object to? Do they object to oist? Do they not like the word joist and hoist as well? <laughs> Poor Karen, she's going to breathe. This is a radio she's show. She's going to start crying. <laughs> you make Karen cry. You're making Isabel. Karen laugh so hard. She's Why? got tears coming to her what eyes. What did I do? We're on the moist question. We're talking about the moist. Oh, the moist. <laughs> and Carl's talking about moist. Some comedian. I, and I was saying, like, well, maybe she. <laughs> maybe she <laughs> some people find the picture objectionable the same way some people find the word moist objectionable. I don't really like the word moist. It's, it's kind of like irritating. I don't See? know. Why. She's one of the people that doesn't like the word moist. Do you have a problem with the no, word joist? How do you feel about the word joist and the word hoist? Fine. Okay. Well, why is so moist it's a problem? The not the moist. In front of it? Okay. So so I don't know. It's it's it's. I think it's the M and the S T at the end. It just kind of okay. What? How do you feel about Miss? How can you see a picture oh, of Miss the talk show? How do you feel uh, about Patrick Moynihan? Oh, that that was I. Well, that was on the talk show. That was because I was just on NPR looking up something else, and a little clip like came up. Oh, um, I was researching something. Yeah, so the picture ones. I was on NPR for. I was I was doing. We're reading uh, 1984 right now. And so oh, we had to find a um, an a, um, a modern equivalent to uh, to censorship in the book. So I was like looking up stuff uh, about fake news during the Trump era, and that little thing came up. So I was like, "Oh, this looks like an interesting article." <laughs> Isabella, I think that that's a piece of. I'm not kidding now. That, that I can talk. That might be a piece of information that has to be shared with everyone because if we're all assuming they were shared on NPR, that could be part of people's reasoning and uh, trying to figure things out. You yeah, go tell yeah. everybody now. Mm. Uh, uh, Everyone's done, done, actually. Generally, oh really? Yeah, well, we're not. I'm just kind of like poking in and out. We're still yeah, trying to decide if the picture is moist or not. How yeah. many planes have crashed in Florida due to gender reveal stunts? I think I know of one. 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 Can you imagine if there was 23? Maybe they would... <laughs> that would be horrible, wouldn't it, Susan? Yeah. Oh, my God. What, I think. And then the last question is, what is Isabella's middle name? I guess Marie. Fine. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's well, very common. It's a really common middle name, and it fits the... Gen um, oh, did we say yes or no and moist? Yes. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's a ridiculous question. It's so Very funny. Moist. What does it even mean? Uh, is this photograph moist? <laughs> you know, Sophia is a good question. Is a the good photograph answer. is probably Marie. very dry. Isabella Marie. Isabella Marie. I think it's Sophia. <gasps> Sophia. Yeah. 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 Sophia. I still say Marie. Is How are we going to decide? We have 26, five seconds. Sophia is too old a name, I feel like. Isabella Sophia? I'm, Romero? That's, that's Isabella that's Maria. Maria. But, but, Isabella nobody Marie? Knows. Romero? I don't think Marie fits the sound. Okay, 10 seconds. We have to. Sophia. <laughs> I'm voting for Sophia. Sophia. Boom. I go with Sophia. So, yeah. Because Maria, if it was Maria. Maybe. Time's up. Time's up. Not in that uh, vein. 
Well, that was fun. Well, well done, Richard. Okay. I'm ready to write down. Okay. I hope that made sense. I'm sorry for any confusion. <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll know what it is. Name. Let's go with it. Okay. Theme. So, number one, how old is the world's oldest fish? So this fish in particular has a name. Um, I'm going to butcher this name. It's Japanese. Um, Hanako, he is a scarlet koi fish who, are, who has been rumored to been alive at the time, uh, at, has been rumored to have been alive since uh, Queen, Victoria, Queen Victoria's like... Uh, it? It's not inauguration. It's coronation. Like, yeah, coronation. So the fish, time. the fish is um, one hundred and twenty-six years old. Oh, yeah. Wait, one hundred and twenty-six? Yeah. Is that, that what you is that what you guessed, Karen? Where's Karen? I guessed one twenty-eight. Oh, Karen. I'm doing plus or minus. Plus or minus, though. Wait, 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 wait. The coronation of Queen Victoria was a lot longer ago than that. It was? Yeah. Yeah, so you're talking about Hanukkah? Like, let me verify that I put the number down. You're talking about Hanukkah? Yeah. I heard Isabella say 126. <laughs> That's not well, right. no, her coronation had to be something like in the 1860s, no? Let me no, see. no, before then. Is Wikipedia oh, she, was, she was four so, with the, four, so the yeah, Wikipedia four article on the Wikipedia article for Hanukkah says that... Um, she lived to be 226 years old, but yeah, that was at the time of her. That was at the time of her death, so she doesn't qualify because she's not still alive. Well, that's a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> technicality for the oldest living fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like living. verifying this. Sorry. Um... Okay, it's saying, okay, so the fish is 183 years old. My bad. Yeah, 1838 was when. My Queen bad. Victoria I'm sorry. So the number is 183. Anybody guess 183? Plus or minus 10? No, I, I, I plus saw or minus 75. Plus or minus 10. I saw plus something. Plus or minus 100. No. I, plus or minus I saw something about a 427 year old shark, and I don't believe it. <laughs> Well, really? It's a Greenland shark. Is a fish a shark? A no. Shark? Yeah, a shark no, a shark is a fish. <laughs> it's a koi fish. Koi Pop fish, fish live for a really long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have time to explain Venn diagrams? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go, go on to number two. Okay, number two. Which English royal said they wanted to be reincarnated as a deadly virus? Prince Philip. Number Yay! two. Oh, letter C. Okay, and then I pulled up a picture of a bird. The bird is fake. Wait, the dog, whoa, 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 it's Goofy. Whoa, whoa. goofy. goofy oh, Goofy. I'm sorry. Um, goofy is, in fact, a cow. What? Believe it or not. No, what? no. He's a no. dog. No, he's You're a wrong. cow. He's a dog. Nonsense. Did you, did you vet these answers or just take yes, NPR at their word? <laughs> he's a dog goofy and they explained dog. it recently. Goofy is a dog because Goofy gets shit about being talk. He can talk and Pluto can't. Like, um, how Okay. Hang on. Where's, Go to Wikipedia, somebody about? quickly. Yeah, it somebody. says it's a cow. Where yeah. is they Goofy? Said it, they Wikipedia. said that in a lot of places that he's a cow because he has long floppy ears. Goofy but is they... a tall anthropomorphic dog who typically wears a turtleneck and vest with pants. He does have a relationship with a cow, though. Right. His <laughs> and <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. <laughs> so there's anything uh, wrong with that. That's not okay. Because he would be a bull. He wouldn't be a cow. <laughs> but that's dog. not okay in all states. It's probably it's probably not <laughs> it's okay. okay, okay. okay. He can't be a cow because cows are male. I mean female, right? <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they no, about this well, the female female. Yeah, Susan, he, he could identify the cow. He is a gender fluid. He's gender fluid. Let's go with Karen. He's gender fluid. He's definitely Everyone a dog. gets that one, right? They explained it in the Disney so that, thing that, about that, him being a, a dog. Free point. Says he's a dog. Okay, I'm sorry. Not, not he isn't a, a cow, cow or a, or a dog. He's a dog. Okay. 
They explained that he was a dog because Pluto's a dog, but Goofy's a dog who wears clothes. And that's what people were were confused by. How come he doesn't have a leash? And and he said, no, he's a dog. And they said that in a a Disney documentary somewhere. Canon. You think he was a cow because he wore clothes. I was researching (laughs) the category on dogs and Goofy came up and he was one of the possibilities. He's a dog. What was it you said, Gil, about him being a what? He's a drawing. He's not either one. A drawing. <laughs> well, they did a whole scene in Stand By Me. And the kids All right, Jeffrey just put cool. up. Hey, Jeffrey's got, a, Jeffrey's got the authority to hear. It's Snopes. What does it say? False. Fact check. <laughs> Goofy's a dog. <laughs> Told you. It's not model yeah. after a cow. He's a Scottish cow. It's, it says the claim was. <laughs> yeah. it says, the Disney cartoon character Goofy was modeled, modeled after a breed of a Scottish cow. And it, he it, that that might be. He may have been modeled that way. That doesn't make him a cow. Doesn't make a dog. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm so glad this is being recorded for posterity. <laughs> If, if, if nobody learns anything, and we're just getting started. We'll know this. So sorry. You, you <laughs> need to be more made. careful. Character cart Goofy was modeled after a cow, a breed of Scottish cow, is vetted as false by Snopes. Okay. Snopes is, Snopes in. Snopes is saying it's false. Okay. okay. Next question. I'm okay. Point, uh, the no bird is fake. fake. Okay. It was designed by this guy who was trying to, like, I guess you, like, get. I guess, so essentially the article, so this was from like an article that I read on NPR that was kind of the thing, but um, essentially this guy, I guess like when you find a new, you discover like a new animal, you get like an award or like, there's like some like award involved with it once you discover a new animal. So essentially this guy like made made up this animal to get like the award money for it. That was the story. Apparently that's the thing. I didn't even really know that was a thing, but yeah, that, that's what it was. And the guy like got a lot of slack for it, obviously. Yeah. But it, the was bird it a is dog indeed or a, Was it a dog or a cow? No, it was a bird. <laughs> it, was a it was a bird photo. But yeah, that, 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 that was, was the modeled story. off of a cow. There is a cow bird. There actually is a cow bird, but it's it not. It's a bird dog. The cow it's a Scottish dog. Um, is it a bird? Scottish dog. It's a real bird. It's a fake is it a plane? color. And there's a flying fish. Right. Mm. There's flying, flying squirrel, squirrel too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, in, in 1985, the Cruella Company created a contest for people to name the new shade of pink. They were releasing a limited edition Crayola box. Which one of these names is pink? Is is fake? The one that is fake is Razzle My Dazzle. Yay! Uh, finally. Dog Wiener Pink was actually a real color that someone submitted. I'm really embarrassed. Sorry, team. I, I, I assumed it was carnation. <laughs> no, it can't be carnation. Because there's a pink already carnation a carnation in a pickup truck is a famous line from Don McLean. Yeah. We always have people would submit that. That's true. Yeah. Your reasoning is impeccable. And Razzle My Dazzle totally sounds like something. Wait, what was the line? That's right. What was the line? It's a pink carnation in a pickup truck. Oh, yeah, American pie. Well, see, I thought that carnation was already a color in Crayola's. It well, is a color. Know. The that whole point was which of these names it. was not like a real like name that was submitted. Oh. It would be stupid to submit a color that already existed. That's why but I thought people, it was fake. A trick but question. people do stupid things all the time. I but Isabella made up Razzle My Dazzle. Like, for example, today in my nursing meeting that I was in, some of the girls didn't even know, like, what the process was to actually get into the nursing program. And, it's like, it's obvious information that you were given when you applied. Like, it's just, like, little things people don't realize. <laughs> so if Isabella was around in 1985, she would have submitted Yeah, Razzle I probably would have, honestly. And this, then, so go back in time and this whole category would be wrong. I will. Razzle Boy and Night Dazzle. Whatever. You go check out that koi fish when you go. <laughs> okay. Back in time. Number six. Okay, number six. Uh, was the rumor false or I forget the phrasing Jamie used? Um, was the was the was the rumor that blue aspe- that blue reusable masks contain asbestos like substances uh, made up or true? The answer is it was true. Some idiot made it up on uh, Twitter. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. No, what? That's not, that's not what no, you no, said. No, but but no, the question, no. the question that you that you ended with 
was <laughs> was the content of the rumor correct or not? Yeah, and it was, and it's false. It is. The question that the, 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 Isabella, look at the and question. And Snope says meant yeah. correct. Okay, that's incorrect. <laughs> But, but I keep getting verified by by stuff. Yeah, you know how I feel. <laughs> posted says do blue reusable reusable masks contain asbestos like substances? The answer to that has nothing to do with is the rumor true or false. It's saying did they do it? Did they you know did they make them that way? And no, they didn't. So yeah. I think so number six, the way it's written in the chat, your your it, verbal it has to be false. Your verbal of the question and your print of the question are really asking for two different answers. Good. So I think we're all correct. I think we're all correct. Just give everyone a point. Yeah. If we answer this or we answer this. Just keep going, please. Okay. Um, let's see. That was number. Susan just had to say we were going smoothly and fast tonight, didn't she? That was six. Now we have okay, number seven. seven. Number seven. Uh, bread can be used as a pencil eraser. It's true. It can be used. Yay! <laughs> um, let's see. Eight. Number eight. Is this picture moist or not? It's considered moist. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? <laughs> I could take a picture. Yeah. And it won't be moist. It could be of water, and it won't be moist. <laughs> No sense. It's hilarious. <laughs> so, what it means is is the essence of the picture moist. Like yeah. when you look, okay, so no, no, the no. Hell does that mean? You can, you can see the water okay. around the picture. You can Isabella, see the little, like, see this little Isabella, thing right here. It's considered moist. The essence of the, the picture, picture is moist. The extra essence of the picture means nothing. Does it make you uncomfortable, Lou, looking at it? If it makes you uncomfortable, it, it looks like a virus. Moist. It's moist. It's a virus. What? Moist virus. <gasps> okay. okay. Everybody gets a point. If yeah. It makes you Does this picture taste like bananas? That's what it means. <laughs> to me. That's what. Does it smell like a flower? What does that mean? Oh, it's, it makes does you it, uncomfortable. It's moist. What does that mean? Does it taste yellow? Is what it <laughs> is. Right. What it's like. <laughs> exactly. It's completely exactly. meaningless. <laughs> Okay, so is anyway, the same thing picture? Does it taste like a jello? On. True or false? Oh, Moving on. Do you want a point for that question? Yes or no? Okay, can we Let move it, on? Does it taste yeah. like a jello? True <laughs> or false? <laughs> mark, mark it down that this is the night where trivia turned into opinion. <laughs> We're just playing okay. opinion. Can we move on? I didn't mean for it to be so opinionated. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all right. What did, what, did they, what did you see in the nine. What's the answer there? to number nine? Here. Um, number nine is A, 11. Oh 11? What? Why, is, why the fuck is Florida not banned gender reveal parties? Because well, it's in Florida. Because it's Florida. Florida. Why the fuck is Florida? And, and it would Florida be against their freedom. Oh, right. Jeff, I think it was Jeff that said, think of the most Florida answer. Why, why have not <laughs> banned Florida? Man-made structure on Earth in the year 1500, and it happens to be still standing? No. Then it's the, in the, the top. Ten, the 10 most recent. The 10 most recent, recent record holders. Right. Most likely what are the ten tallest tallest structures in the not world? Gonna, something it is not, that is that is not what that list would be. Because uh, if something was built that uh, fit in between, it would be taller, but it was never a record holder. So we mm -hmm. say at a certain say oh, in a wow. certain decade, the tallest structure was <laughs> this. Go, go back through time. What was the tallest freestanding structure? At any given and the and the clue that I want to give you is number ten dates back to 1874. Okay, that helps. So it goes back surprisingly far. So okay. you need to do you want the date as well as the I do not. I do. The dates would be lovely, but that's not what I'm asking for. Okay. When I give you the answers, I will give you the dates. Okay. Was, was right, we're good. Middle name. Maria? <laughs> one of them. One, one of them. them. Yeah, one of them was. How many you had? <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> Why did every one of these was a record holder? Every one, every one of these was the record holder as the tallest 
at that time. Freestanding structure on land. And they and they ah. might not be now, right? Because there's something has superseded it. And mm -hmm. all but the Thank you, Jeffrey. all but the current all but the, very all but number all but, one. all but the current one yeah, huh? uh, okay. have been superseded. Okay. Got okay, it. we're good. But they're all that. still standing now. All of them I'm are still standing. standing. Um, and you Why have heard you? of at least five of them. Well, that's promising. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Six of them. We're away. Oh. Where is this? Oh, okay. I host silver. Oh, it's so nice that you guys were able to do this while I wasn't here. My computer went. And we I did not. I do not have powers, so I oh, can't well, go I visit. Give you some powers. So I can't visit people. I will oh. give you powers. There is your powers. Are we leaving? Your powers. Okay. Ready? As ever. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to room five. A little bit of starch. Yeah, okay. I don't have a clue what this is about, but something about buildings that are tall. Yeah, it's simple. Uh, what were the, what the, the current uh, what structures that had the, at one time were the tallest man-made structures in the in the world or that are currently standing. Currently standing. Yes. So not so the World Tower Trade of Babel. Center. Uh, the World Trade Center is not on the list. The, um, the number 10, I guess, would be the Eiffel Tower. Yep. Uh, the Koala, what's it? Koala Towers, the... Koala Lupa. Koala Lupa, is that it? Yeah, but I can't remember. Oh, what is it called? I, um, hmm. I'm at a loss with this one. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. How about the one in Dubai? Yeah, exactly. Khalifa. But what is it? The Burj Khalifa. Oh, what is it? He's got the it. Yeah, the Burj Khalifa. All right. Um, Sears Tower was at one time. All right. Uh, Empire State Building. What about Taipei 101? I like, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Petronas Towers, maybe? Yeah, sure. I've heard of those. Yeah. I'm agreeing. I don't know any of this. We come up with something? There's probably yeah. some telecommunications tower or something like that. Well, it's it's freestanding, not... which means that a tower would. Is it Taipei 101? You said they're not all buildings, though. Yeah. But freestanding means it doesn't have uh, guy wires. Hmm. Empire? We got that already, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, But one was back in the 1800s. Oh. So it would be uh, London or that, right? Paris. What about the well, how, when is the Eiffel Tower? Tower? 18, late 1800s. Okay, so that would probably be the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I think that's well, number 10. Remember, isn't the... What about the Space Needle? No, hold on. But didn't we just determine, though, like with the Ever Given... That the Empire State Building is taller than the Eiffel Tower. Is yeah. It? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it is taller. How about the statue? But it was built, but it, but it was built after the Eiffel Tower. Right. And it couldn't be Colossus because that's so how gone. It, Could you pull up the question? I don't know. So I'm okay. So, so are these the tallest buildings when? The tallest tall structures. Um, and, uh, and when they were built, they were the record. Right. Okay. So but then something was built that Sears was taller. Tower? Huh? Sears Tower? Wasn't that tall? That was, that was uh, that's on the list. Okay. You didn't write it down. Okay. okay. That's... So the Empire State Building, maybe? When it was built, it was the top. Right, yeah. I know that one in Dubai was considered the biggest when it was built. Yeah. And I think it still is. That's the Burj Khalifa, right? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, is the, what is the big twisty tower in Panama? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, was what about bridges? Uh. Did he say freestanding? Yeah. Okay. 
he did say they're not all buildings, right? Right. That's right. So I can't think what non. Well, a statue. No. The Washington Obelisk. What about the um? Oh, Washington the Building. Yeah, he said the monument, Washington Monument. Was that the biggest? Uh, I, That's only like seven hundred feet. Yeah, I, I find that hard to believe. It's not that that tall. But wouldn't wouldn't something like the Tower of Alexandria have been the tall, the lighthouse no, at Alexandria, than the tallest? Oh, it old. says that it has to still be standing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, I I asked him, and I didn't get a real clear answer, but uh, about antennas. Because they're not freestanding. But then again, I wouldn't know which what that would be. There's like yeah. the tallest lighthouse. What well, lighthouse? Um, <laughs> well, oh, I, yeah, yeah, I know. What it's the punch the and Taj Judy? Mahal for like maybe no. the, the tallest no. residence. No, no. Uh, I've been there. It's not that tall. Okay. Now, for now these are still residence. standing. So what would no, he said no, something no, about number no, ten being no, from no, the 1800s no, no, or what? No, 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 yeah, that we that we think is the Eiffel Tower. Tower Eiffel. We already have it. I know, I'm moving it. So what do we have already on the list since I was taking care of a cat? We have the Burj Khalifa, Taipei 101, the Petronas Towers, Are Sears you sure? Towers, Sears and, and the Eiffel Tower. Okay. So we got five? Yeah. Did okay. you get Empire State Building? We can put that on there because I think that we might as well. Yeah, because that was the tallest for a long time. Yeah. Until uh, World Trade Center eclipsed it. Yeah. But we have everything on there as a building. The Freedom Tower. Isn't the Freedom Tower now? Right. Yes. No, uh, but wait, wait, wait. I don't think it was ever the in North in, the, in North in um in the United States. The Freedom Tower is the tallest building now. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's. But when it was built, it didn't eclipse taller. Okay. There were buildings yeah. taller than it. It couldn't have been but a record holder. What's the tallest private private residential? It doesn't matter because it has to be the tallest. It has to have the record. Right, but if it's the record tallest private reg residential home, it doesn't right? mean anything. Okay. It's, it's still okay. a structure it's, now. All right. Well, I think we're gonna have to go. What older. about the tallest redwood tree? No, a structure built made by humans. Oh, it has to be a human built structure. But it doesn't have to be a building. But he said there wasn't. What is it about the tallest Ten Commandments? No. Wait. That's not a human built. Yeah. No, I think you have to think about like what are things that have a, a world record for being tall. How about that guy, the 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 Jesus thing on the no, the Christ Redeemer, not, that's not that tall. That's not very tall. It just well, seems is, tall because it's up on a hill, huh? It's, not, it's up on a hill. The largest, what would be the largest statue? I think there's one in Russia, but again, it's it's nothing compared to tall buildings. But the tallest statue in the world. But remember, you could have, but I thought we were saying that these things don't have to be the tallest, like, the buildings. That these yeah. be the it's the tallest man-made statue. No, but they're not. No, they're no. Structure. It's the it tallest structure. Yeah, it has to be the tallest structure at the time. Uh, what about the There's Toronto statue? Toronto, the Toronto. Uh, the what's the building in Toronto? The needle. Yeah. No, the space needle. The How space about the arches in? Um, well, hold on. Yeah. The Seattle Arch. St. Louis. No, that that the Seattle uh, space needle is not that big, but uh, the Toronto build. Toronto Tower yes. was the tallest the for a period. Tower? Huh? Is it called the Toronto Tower or what? Yeah. No Toronto idea. Tower? Okay. And oh God. I don't think it's called Taipei 101. We have a restaurant named that here. But I think it's <laughs> similar to that. Maybe they got the name from the building. Maybe. But that's like that huge hotel, though. Um, Trump Tower? <laughs> no, so. no, no, no. Um, it's just a, it's, he, he, he has, has I'm sure so. he's got a paper it's somewhere it's saying it's got a world record of being the biggest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After they. 
But at the time, because you're comparing if it's not that tall to certain things, but it could have been the tallest thing at that time. Like, what was the tallest church when it was built? He told us that the the oldest in the list is like 1860. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. What's the one that has, what's the building? Is the Burj Khalifa the white building that looks like a sail in Abu Dhabi? No, that's the one in Dubai. That's really tall as the tallest currently the tallest building in the world and what is it what do you mean what's the name of it the Burj Khalifa okay but what so is that but what's the one that looks like a sail that one's not that tall okay I'm surprised I, I I I don't think I'd heard the name of this Dubai Tower I must have but I don't even doesn't even ring a bell yeah it's not a place I will probably be going to do a talk or anything. So I don't How many names do we have written we down? We watch YouTube videos where they talk Six, about this shit all the time. Yeah. Mm. Romero, how many what do we think was in the 1850s? You think that's the Eiffel seven. Tower? We've got seven. Yeah. Something that, do you think there's something that was built right after the Eiffel Tower to be bigger than the Eiffel Tower? Like in 1852 or something? I think you held a record for a long time. How long? So, hold on. What do we want Generation? to put some towers down? World no, Trade Center not, towers? Uh, they're not up anymore. Okay. So, what names do we have? Burg Khalifa, Taipei 101, Patronus Tower, Sears Tower, Eiffel Tower, Empire State Building, and Toronto Tower. So, Romero, think... <laughs> Romero, what do you think would have been the next thing that was built right after you said you think that the Eiffel? tower held, held the record for a while so what That's do you think was the next thing that was built that would like to challenge the height of the eiffel tower what would it have been yeah i don't i don't remember i don't know <laughs> i mean i would maybe the you said you thought it held the record for a while yeah i was thinking maybe like the empire state building or something like that but i could be wrong because it would be something somebody would build to say, now we have the building, biggest building in the world. Uh, possibly. But also, we don't have anything on the list that isn't like a tower. Like um, Yeah, everything's a building. Yeah, everything's a building. So I don't know what else would be. And they're probably. I can't, I can't yeah. think of anything off the top of my head. Which yeah, is, oh, the that's, statue that's a statue is not going to be that big. Thing. Well, what about. Um, it, we're talking about big. height. We're not talking about volume or. Height. Right. So what about a tower, like you guys are saying, the radio towers or something? Yeah, oh, those, RKO not, tower? those RKO are not qualified as freestanding. What about satellite dish? Like the tallest satellite or the tallest observatory? They're not that tall. No, no they're not, not very not tall. tall. How I mean, about RKO? Yeah, hold on, the, hold on. You're asking, you're asking, if it's but where it's positioned. No, so no like, it doesn't it's matter. It's the height of the building. Yeah, it's the height of the building, not if, if it's if yeah, it's it's not, it's Mount Everest. It explicitly if said it, was the height of the building and yeah, not the, where it's The thing high. is, if, if, if you built a little house on top of Mount Everest, you couldn't say that's the tallest house in the world. Well, you could, but it's, that's you not could, what it's it. because it's depending on how <laughs> you're it. How about that RCA building we were talking about earlier? The Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center? Center. Didn't we have that on a question today? Yeah. Yeah, but that was, that's, I don't, Rockefeller Center is not taller than the Empire State Building, and the Empire State Building was built at the same time. Yeah. Which one was first? I think Empire State Building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we have space and we don't have anything else, you could put it just in case it might have been first and it was there for a week or so before the Empire State Building. Yeah, good point. You might, then it would have to surpass the Eiffel Tower. So I, I think we're going to, uh, uh, head back soon. Are we done? Maybe like most, most people are done. I'm not sure how to do that. Oh, I got. I'll do it. Okay. So, okay. do we? Are we done in our group, you guys? And we have three, what about three spaces left. Something in Japan, like Tokyo. A any of the Asian uh, Asian what about powerhouse China? cities. China, China does. Oh a lot yeah, of like stuff. something in uh, Shanghai, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, Shanghai Tower. There you go. <laughs> Look, put me. it on because we haven't got anything else. A tower in Shanghai named the Shanghai Tower. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah it, it, it may not be correct, but it might not it's, even it's, be in Shanghai. Yeah. It might be in some other country. Beijing. How yeah. about in Russia? Anything the the Russia? Shanghai Tower is not going to be in Beijing. How about, how about in Russia? <laughs> something yeah, in Russia? Something 
from Russia. St. Basil's Cathedral. With the... All right. I think back. we should. I think we should head back. All right. I'm going back. All right. Let's go. Yeah. The tallest building in North America now, though. I think it's still taller because they yeah. probably have each floor is probably a bigger floor. Yeah, it's probably like eight foot floors in the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. Uh, they also count. They also count. You know, you stick the spire up on top there. Right. That, right. You know. so. Yeah, they actually put it up there just in order to make it taller. Well, that's, yeah. This is hard. Well, I've hard. been up in the Empire State Building, but I, nothing higher than that, I don't think. I got engaged at the top of the Empire State Building. Oh, yeah. Was that right? Yep. What's the lowest, and my father and mother did too. What's the yeah. lowest oh, so did, uh, wow. so did uh, oh. Tom Hanks. So did Tom Hanks and, so Tom uh, Hanks. and what's your yeah. name? Uh, is that like there? a thing? If you go up there, you Meg might get Ryan. engaged. Okay. Yes. On the very top, too, the late, like just, just What's like the lowest place you know, too. All right, Death Valley, Badwater. Death Valley, yeah, Death Valley, Badwater, Badwater. Badwater, whatever. Yeah, all righty. So, this was uh, this was tricky, yeah, uh, because there are there, there's the difference between freestanding structure and building. So, for example, there are no buildings in Chicago on this list. Wow. So although the Sears Tower, now known as the Willis Tower, was the tallest building, it was never the tallest freestanding structure because the Ostankino Tower in Moscow is taller and was built before it. Nor the Russians. So let's go from number one back. You take your mask oh, off now. There was a request that I read these in reverse order. Um, from 10 back. If uh, if everyone agrees, I'll do it that way. Mm -hmm. sure. Sure. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. This is so, like a David Letterman top 10 list. So number 10. Yeah, do it in a funny voice. Number 10, <laughs> dating to 1874, is the St. Nicholas Church in Hamburg, Germany. Mm. And I would be shocked if anyone got that. Mm. Number 9, the Cathedral Notre Dame, but not the one in Paris, the one in Rouen, France, in 1876, two years later. Hmm. Then the Cologne Cathedral in Cologne, Germany, in 1880, followed by the Washington Monument. Oh, wow. Never even thought of that. In 1884. We, our group thought of it. I don't know if it made it on our list, but we did. Number six, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yay. Yay, we got one. In 1889. <laughs> then, um, 40 years later, the Chrysler, Chrysler. Building. Yay. In New York. Oh. Then the next year, the Empire State Building. Yay. Also in New York. Okay. Then, 36 years later, the aforementioned Astonkino Tower in Moscow, it's a radio tower, in 1967. Then the CN Tower Yay. in Toronto in 1975. And the Burj Khalifa in Dubai in 2007. Hey, do we get do, if we can't remember the name of the one in, in if, Dubai? If you, do we get if you if you can unambiguously describe it, you know the so there's only one huge building in Dubai. It's real wide and narrow at the top, and it's yeah. high. Yeah, that's that's we, fine. So the, the, the big tower. tower. So the big the big tall building in Dubai is fine. Do you hear that? Did you was hear that? The Patronus was the Patronus never on that list? Correct. The Patronus was never on that list. Wow. It was, the biggest so one, one is the Dubai one. One of the reasons for me picking freestanding towers, uh, freestanding structures instead of buildings, is there are at least four different definitions of what makes the tallest building. Wow. Uh, highest uh, occupied floor with or without antennas, uh, with or without major structural elements. And to avoid all that crap, I just went with tallest freestanding structure. Some people mentioned the Warsaw 
um, radio tower, which is held up by guy wires. Mm -hmm. That does not count. It's not freestanding. That's why I went back through all the rooms and said, tallest freestanding structure. Tough, tough category. Mm. So yeah, the actually, the, the, the radio tower that I was thinking of somewhere off in Russia, something like that has guide wires. I forgot about that too. Yeah. Right. So the, uh, uh, my, my goal was that 10 is unlikely, mm -hmm. but you, but everyone's heard of most of these, mm -hmm. at least half. Um, and it's kind of surprising that, uh, the Washington monument is number yeah. seven. Well, I, I think, I know our team picked it. We were thinking of it, but, uh, okay, no. did I, it is did I tall. I would, I would never have thought the Washington monument in a million years. No. Was ever a record holder. Leonard, um, did you look at the 10 uh, tallest structures, freestanding or not? And just what are those at this point? Freestanding? No, I looked at the 10 free. I, I, I looked at the, the Wikipedia media, the Wikipedia article with the title oh. I just gave. Okay. Tallest freestanding structures on land. And the on land is important too. Because sure. one of the uh, other contentions were um, offshore oil platforms. Mm. Uh, if you go from the bottom of the ocean up to the top, some of those uh, pass some of the others on the list, and that's no good. They're held up by the water. <laughs> well, they're also not on land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're on land that's covered by water. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I, okay, so. I would have I would have bet you were going to say that, Carl. <laughs> okay, so number so going back uh, in the opposite order, Burj Khalifa, CN Tower, Ostan Kino Tower, Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, Eiffel Tower, Washington Monument, Cologne Cathedral, Cathedral Notre Dame, and Saint Nicholas Church. It's interesting how much time between some of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Was there a war or something between some of these? They couldn't. No, it's just when they uh, when the technology existed to do it, they reached the maximum that they could, uh, which is why there was uh, such a huge gap after the Empire State Building. All now right, I let's know. go with scores. So it's real close, you guys. You didn't see probably the additions from the last one because my <laughs> computer went out on me. Nobody here but us chickens. Six. So before I, oh, wait, before I sorry, reveal the was, scores. Was, I'm sorry, the, that, that's wrong, that's wrong. That's not us, sorry. The, uh, the, yeah. the score with the most, there's six points between the highest score and the lowest score. That's how tight Pretty it is. Pretty close. So nobody here but us chickens. I think we have five. Five. Five, okay. Okay, so high ho silver away. Five. Three-legged dogs. Six. Mm. That's going to be important. Uh, the unexplained wobblers. Four. That's going to be important, too. <laughs> and the team that was in the lead is a little bit of starch. Four. Wow. Was that just enough to squeak us by? I think it's barely going to get you guys by. It I'm is really close. So, so start uh, a little bit of start to one with 31, but these others really pulled ahead. The three legged dogs with six, uh, you pulled ahead because the unexplained warblers were ahead of you. So, you passed them. Uh, three legged Both. dogs passed the unexplained wobblers and then yeah so it was close 20 27 28 29 and then 31 close that was bring that up was the rear, chickens bringing up the rear <laughs> can you open that tab that said future questions yeah <laughs> i've got a future future question tab but nobody's supposed to see it good game you guys yeah, my my uh, target was try to get, you know, around six, seven as the average, but with some spread to it. 
You so had got, five. Five. Is so enough. I got I got the uh, I got the average pretty close, but not a lot of spread. I'm, four, I'm four, surprised five, that five, we got. Six. I'm surprised we got five. I would not. I wasn't keeping track. I would have thought we only had three. Yeah. <laughs> so we had Eiffel Tower, CN, yeah, 